What's the old <laughs> ranger <laughs> friend's name? Ranger friend's name. Remind me. Wesley. Wesley, thanks. How can you forget uh, Denise? I've got so much to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, Wesley, thank you. Wesley Devlin. Okay. It's a T-Rex. <laughs> it's a dragon. It's the Feywild, don't judge it. That is some mad. Yeah, that is the favorite. That's fine, I'll keep it. I was going to change it, but nah, it's appropriate. <laughs> if it were a T Rex, it would have to be bright pink. Yeah. Or something. It would be crazy in the favorite. All right. <clears throat> Welcome to another episode of Every 10 Day. This is DD for families and young adventurers like these three. Yellow. Hello. Look at them. They're so young and adventurous you didn't looking. Let you, didn't, you didn't let them do anything. Okay, I'll say it again then. Video, I hate when you make us redo our greetings. Hello everybody, welcome oh. Welcome to another episode of Every 10 Day. This is D&D for families and young adventurers. Yellow! Hello. Hello. Like these three, aren't they young and adventurous looking? Yippee! Are we? I just... We are. Okay, that's like a bit I want to be as cringy as I possibly can. <laughs> Alright, um, last we left off, because it's been a couple, been a couple of weeks. Been more than every 10 day, let's just put it that way. It's been about two 10 days. So last we left off. <clears throat> In a heroic move to save all of your lives, Wendell utilised his candle of invocation to open a portal to the Feywild and the immediate proximity of your lost wife, Sonnet. Um, well, not lost so much. You're the lost one. You're yeah. the one that wandered out of the Feywild several ten days ago and found yourself in the Prime Material Plane, not knowing how on earth you got there. And through your adventures, you've met these two weirdos um, in the form of a, a, a fortunate arrival and a rescue. And you have started to become a part of something. All of you are sort of unwitting adventurers in some ways, um, reluctant adventurers doing your own thing with your own purpose. And yet it seems purpose, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> That's gonna ruin Bless it all. You. Start again. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no, I'll check it, I'll check it, I'll check it. Yeah. Purpose has found you. Through your adventuring, you have managed to come into the possession of a powerful artifact, or a powerful, a, powerful, a legendary item rather one of the five black uh, dragon masks that are required to summon Tiamat back to the prime material plane from her imprisonment, maybe her banishment in Avernus, one of the, the top layer of the nine hells. Now, Tiamat being, well, quite simply, the goddess of, of chromatic dragons would wreak a havoc unseen in millennia here on the world of Wanda if she were to come back here and would certainly uh, bend continents to her will and to her her destruction and you have one of the masks that can with the other four bring her back and the right place as well obviously but um, and what this has meant is that the three of you have become hunted you've come together through Fortune, you being rescued from your imprisonment at, at, at Kentish Keep, and you in your the lone survivor of a of a doomed adventuring party, the three of you have come together, and in that fateful council meeting at Kendall, you created a rift between dimensions, a rift between the planes, and fled. Uh, an enormous ancient black dragon's killing breath with some of you barely getting through it alive. <clears throat> so for the last few days, you've been in this weird, wondrous fairyland, encountering moving taverns on legs mm -hmm. and strange creatures. A little goblin recently called Jingle Jangle, who resides at the top of Telemi Hill and who gave you a key that helped you to free your your friend Satalavar, the small 
kind of pinky purple fairy dragon who is the knight errant of the Seely Court who is looking to get word back to the the Summer Queen herself, Titania, of the enslavement of the realm that you are in now. This realm, now renamed Hither, is part of what used to be a much larger wonderland, basically, ruled over by, again, a, a, a fey creature of great power. But now it seems to have been enslaved and the domains have been cut off from the outside world of the Fae into these three realms, each of them bordered by a thick, impenetrable fog. And you're now in one of those realms called Hither. And as you trek across the marshlands, heading towards downfall, to seek out Bavlorna Blightstraw, one of the hags thought to be responsible for enslaving this wondrous fey realm. Um, you just just had a almost deadly encounter with two powerful spellcasters, and so as we rejoin the action, we join the three of you, our heroes. Wesley, the ranger, your wife, Sonnet, her and your uh, joint friend, Serena. And that is it, I believe, within the, um, within your... And Sprocket. And Sprocket. Who's <laughs> like, frickin' hell, that was mental. <laughs> it is evening time. If such a thing exists here in the Feywild, the sky is a deep purple slashed through with, with bright fuchsia pinks. And all around, insects, glow bugs, gigantic dragonflies flit, hover and buzz away and around you. As the adrenaline of the deadly fight calms down. Some of you, your arcane power almost expended in your case. Um, Scarlet with some of the huge spells that you hurled during that fight. Others of you wounded in other ways from bloody, bloody wounds created by arcane energy sizzling through your flesh. What do you want to do? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Is everyone all right? Because I'm not. Yeah. Sonny, are you all right? Did you get hit? hit? I'm okay, I'm okay. Alright, are you sure? I am, my love. I'm, I'm Irish, aren't I? Yeah, Not, you are. That's right. <laughs> What's Irish? <laughs> <laughs> Irish. Wesley limps back across the, the thing to where you are as well. Wesley, um, are you okay? I'm pretty Just. Good. Yeah, I had to heal you during that. But... Thank you, my friend. It's all right. Um, how is everyone? Are we all... I am in pain. Well, Same. do you have to rest, make camp here? Something like that. Well, um, how about these guys lying dead on the ground? What, what about them? them? Want to burn <laughs> okay. the bodies? No. I want to look at their bodies. Okay, that's a bit weird. I want to look... <laughs> <laughs> Just stand there like that. Rowan, your wife, right? No, I, I need... I mean, should yeah, we... Yeah, she punches you on the arm. I mean, should we check if they have... Any... I should hope not. <laughs> <laughs> I would never... Look at them. Look at those mangled corpses. Um, well done, everyone, by the way. No um, problem. <laughs> I killed someone. I mean, I killed someone. I mean, I mean, he was about to kill Is it me. wrong that it... She's starting to like freak out a bit. Oh, Is it wrong right. that I didn't feel bad? No, I don't okay. feel guilty. I'll, I'll hold her. I'm having all sorts of feels. It's all right. You're like holding no, her. She's okay. like that. I'm having all sorts. Of... She Look. she just starts losing it. Look, she, he, he was about to kill me. What you did was out of necessity. Out of necessity. I've never killed nothing in my whole life. You didn't kill with. You didn't kill an innocent person. I need to sit down. I need all to sit right, down. There's no nowhere to bloody sit down. It's oh, water it's everywhere. <laughs> it's just marsh. Oh God. Oh God. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. I've got anxieties. <laughs> it's okay. Why are you laughing at my anxiety? I'm not. 
And this is how I reacted when I first killed someone. It's fine, you just have to go through it. <laughs> Who are you killing? I, I shot someone with we, my uh, gun. They told me they murdered an entire tower of guards. When? Innocent people, you know. No, he didn't! No, he didn't! Surely that wasn't. Good. No, no, Sonic, no. <laughs> Love, look. It's fine. Look. Thank She's you. still holding the knife. Okay. <gasps> okay. She throws it down. Let's That's... pick it up. That's television. <laughs> hey, it will be okay. It will take a little. I know it's a bit weird. I mean, it's, you know. It is a bit weird. Yeah, but he was about to kill me. That's true. He was about to kill that's me. That's true. And you stabbed him to protect me. I did. I protected you, yeah, my love. Yeah, that's all. That's the only reason you did it. And you're but won't his soul haunt me forever now? No. No. I. If, and if it does, think you know what? Well. I'm going to beat it up. I'm not going to let it haunt you. I'd never let anything haunt you. Will he be waiting for me in the afterlife? No. No, because we're going to... He might be, but... Yeah, you know, you know magic. Shut is up, Scarlet. <laughs> I was just saying, you're to come my way. He may be there. He's going to a different afterlife. Oh, well, thanks very much. <laughs> thanks for that. He's going to the one down there. How do you know? I mean... Look, I thought there were lots it's... down there. <laughs> look, He's we're... going to uh, one of the nine hills. So one of the nine lowest level, I hope. <laughs> Maybe I'll join him for killing. No! Wherever you go, I'm going to. I need to walk. I need to walk. She just walks off into the house. Oh, we won't go far. Okay, don't go far. Take, right. take this dagger with you, though. You no, no, I don't no, want no, it. I don't please. want it. Stop it. What's Give me answer? space. <laughs> You're right. Leave her alone, man. Space right. time. So I need space. <laughs> she just right. walks off. Oh, my God. Oh my Remember God. to breathe. Oh, my God. I will. I will. Oh, my God. She walks off. Oh, my God. She's going to get murdered in the bush. All right, so the... Are you... Intent on the corpses. Yeah. Yeah. So they're pretty oh, battered. Serena okay. Serena's okay. Yeah, she she was hidden. She just popped her head out. And she's like, oh dear. <laughs> God goes over and looks after Sonic a little bit. Um. So, the corpses are in a bad shape, obviously, because you absolutely mullered them. Up. Yeah, yeah, big time. Who killed them? Oh yeah, who? It's actually important for me though who killed the chicken. Why? I didn't kill one though. For my grip. It was Scarlet. I didn't think it was. I killed one of them. Scarlet killed the other. I didn't no, no, because um. No, Sonic killed one. She backstabbed. Yeah. Do you remember? Sorry. Yeah, that's why she got the level. I'll give her that for the killing blow. <laughs> um, <sighs> okay, um, let's search the bodies. All right, so you drag them through the water. You find like a tuft of glass, grass, like a little size of this table sort of area of grass that isn't as soggy, just to drag them up onto. They are both wearing these red robes that you now know are the part of the hallmark of the Wizards of Wrath um, on the faraway continent. Well, far different dimension from where you are now, but the, the continent of Horizon. Um, so they, they are adorned similarly, but if you remember, as I described, the evokers were less um, pinnacled at the shoulders. Um, <coughs> okay, <here again. laughs> yeah. Scarlet is pretty <laughs> choked up by the bodies. They smell bad. <laughs> Scarlet, it's <Yeah>. okay. <laughs> All right, let's have a group investigation check. And this will just be everyone plundering, everyone I'm plundering gonna, together. I'm gonna guidance myself. Oh, together we plunder. Uh, 17. Fourteen. Oh, come on, man. Um, ten. That's okay. That's great. This is really, I'm just doing a big roll to see whether you miss anything. You don't miss anything with that. <laughs> so. Adam, go. <laughs> oh, bless you. <clears throat> this is a group plunder rather than like people Brilliant. finding stuff, unless you want to do it that way, like. No. <laughs> no. That would be more appropriate if you were like in a dragon horde. Yeah. You go to different places and look around. It's it's just just two, yeah. two guys. All right. This is what you find. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, I would say, w w how about one person write it all down, Me. and then you can decide uh, how you're going to allot this. Okay? okay, it's all going to Scarlet because she has no magic items. Yeah. Shut up! Calm, calm, here we go, here we go. All right, this is what you find. Um, apart from their robes, 
-hmm. which with your arcana and your arcane knowledge you find that they're they're their actual robes themselves, the clothes they're wearing, don't have any kind of magical <laughs> duoma about them. You're still welcome to take them if you want, What's but the apprentice level? <laughs> um, <laughs> say if you wanted to disguise yourselves or oh, anything like that. Actually, it might be helpful. Something to, to keep... think about. We'll put them in the bag of holding. Okay, so first you write down then two sets of Wizards of Wrath attire, and they are quite high level. So is that R? That, how do you spell Double R, A T H. Um, but write it down like this: you've got an eighteenth level spell casters like an arc mages robes mm -hmm. and you've got a 12th level spell casters like a, a pretty high mid-level wizards okay um there is i would say general jewelry and accoutrements um accessories to the robes and things mm -hmm. um they're very made up they've got a lot of makeup on a red and earthy tones mm -hmm. whitenesses right. to their face and everything uh, like earrings, the evoker's got all these earrings coming around. I'd say, generally speaking, you've got like a small handful of jewelry that would be worth uh, about 78 gold. Okay. So just write that down, and I'll just call it like it's a job lot. You know what I mean? Earrings, couple of rings, necklaces, those kind of I'll things. I'll take some earrings. Okay. Ugh. So that's just a job lot of the jewelry you find on them. Also, um, this is the loot that you find. One of them, the um, the evoker, had like a, a head plate on, right? Okay. But it was set to the back of his head. So it was like it was sort of pulled back. But you notice it's almost like a helm, mm -hmm. basically. And the way, as you take it off, it's sort of got... Um, it... It looks like it kind of hooks behind the ears and it's like a it, uh, a full metal head plate but there's these two red ruby like gems right at the front almost like if you were to pull it down all the way over the head they would become like eyes sort of looks a bit like that there's some weird um uh not carvings what do you do in metal um, uh, engraving. engraving yeah like there's these, these complex engravings in the top of the of the helm as well okay i'm sure those i can't wear helmets <clears throat> by the way my description of these magic titans do not match what's in the dm's guide just so <laughs> you know okay <clears throat> um you also find on the arc mage outside of his clothes a um a, a cloak he's got a cloak And that seems to be quite fine. <clears throat> Scarter, do you have any way to identify any of these stuff? Like with magic? Oh, to identify. <laughs> <I> don't... <laughs> All right, good. Well, you gotta get that fixed. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, you can attune to something, and you'll be aware of its properties. Yeah. It's good properties. But you will, you will absolutely. But that will take like an hour to do that with each item that you want to do that with. <clears throat> you also find um, a leather bag, kind of rust colored. Oh no. Uh, oh, with. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. No. A, a rust colored. Uh, yes. Kill yes. me now. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's mine. <laughs> No, no, you're not having no, no, there no, is a, that. No, no, no. I have to. There is a, <laughs> let me explain it, please. <laughs> All your characters please. have it. No, yeah. please. Can we be inclusive? Okay, okay. Sorry. Right, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you find a rust-coloured leather bag, and as you're you peek happy. inside it, it looks like it's got, it looks like it's got these golf ball-sized balls of fluff in them. Okay, you know, like when, when gremlins have water on them, they put out these balls of fluff. It just seems to be filled with balls of fluff. Crazy. Um, about those. You also find a... Now, you know what a potion of healing looks like. This looks like the most powerful potion of healing. Ooh. You also find... You also find <laughs> a um, a spell scroll. Oh. And and what the what <laughs> the scroll looks? It's interesting because this one's in like a, a leather, a, excuse me, a metal holster 
almost like this scroll would be used for quick draw and read. So in this game, you can use, even if um, you, you can cast spells from a scroll and it's like one use, so that will be destroyed when you, you do that. Spell, yeah. yeah. Well, and yeah, absolutely. So this, it's weird, the way this one is, it's hooked over like a, a belt inside the robes and it's like for quick coming out and reading like that. It's kind of cool. Um, that is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. <laughs> you also find on, now this is interesting. <laughs> and I have no idea, but we were talking about this in the car, so I thought, why not? You find, you find what looks like a bag of metal ball bearings or ammunition. Hey! Yes! Boom. What? They don't have a gun. Don't oh, matter, maybe they're using it for spells. Just use oh, yeah. ammunition. <clears throat> and finally. <laughs> I have to sound like a golden staff and it goes like this. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, I have to see how this is described. Three wishes. Three wishes. You guys rolled it, so I've got to let you have it. <laughs> I just pull you with this. Is that a lamp with a genie in it? <laughs> <laughs> v, w, U, V, W, W, oh, here we are. Music's making me sleepy. <laughs> it's weird. <clears throat> On the belt of the Archmage, Maybe, perhaps in the, perhaps in the fight it was broken or something. You're not quite sure. What's everyone's intelligence? Twelve. Fourteen. Fifteen. Okay, you're all pretty intelligent. Um, a sword hilt. It's only the hilt. There's no blade on it. It's beautiful. It's an absolutely stunning. Is it the Lancaster blade? <laughs> it is a. Come on. The, the, uh, so your characters find this thing, and you're not quite sure what it is, but it's the most beautiful, ornate. It sort of looks like silver and gold filigree work around this sword blade that is immaculate. No blade. No blade at all. That's a shame. It's broken. Hmm, I handle. <laughs> but, I mean, this looks pretty nice. Maybe we can just sell that, you know? Yeah. Is it Without ornamental? The Do they have that what? as like a family blade? Ornamental. Oh, ornamental. <clears throat> it's all metal. Ornter orna <laughs> ornamental. Oh. So like they're hanging on the wall. Ornamental. <laughs> metal. Yes. Yeah, that is metal. Oh, I didn't roll. Well, well, as you guys fight over the loot. So, <laughs> um, hold on. Wait, no, no, no. I can't wear so this headband. I'll just take all the. I'll take the bag. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, let's go through it one by one. Gather around. In everyone. character, please. Right. We need to think about Wesley as well. Yeah, everyone come here. Yeah, hi, I'm here. I just helped you we do this. We didn't find anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's what watching and helping. Yeah, I'm literally items. here. Right? Hey, um, Wesley, do you want any of these? Do you want. Right, okay. Hold on, I'll go first. Why? I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm, I'm going to read it out because I totally didn't. No, I didn't write it down. Right. Headplate. There's a headplate here with two rubies on it. Well, only two of us. I can't wear a headplate. Okay, only two of us wear armor. Wendell can have. Headplate. I wear armor. Let's see. Well, we'll see. Calm down. <laughs> Last right. time. No, no, that's good. I, I like that. We're already filtering it down. So. Yeah. Like I don't really wear. I don't. I don't wear head armor. So. I don't normally wear head you? armor, but if it's if it got yeah, some well, special. Well, you did. Didn't go very well, did it? Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, no more masks. Um, so Figuratively and should literally. Should we put this in the maybe Wendell pile? Maybe Wendell well, pile. It's the only Wendell. What's pile. next? <laughs> Wendell, you're so unsharing me. Cloak from Archmage. The cloak. So not the robes. Wait, so robes like that. Jesus it goes over. Yeah, it's like a separate hooded cloak. Anyway, it's tie it the front like no, it's like a proper, like um, like a travelling cloak. It's quite heavy duty, but it's beautiful. Wait, so would she be able to wear it with her other thing, or is it swap seats? No. Okay. Well, I wear cloaks. Oh, you could go cloak over robes. Would it look ugly though? <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> it would, yeah, yeah. It's much more. This one's much more. Like it's as you look at it. 
It's actually a really fine leather, like a beautiful soft, oh, like right. a lamb's you, leather. You, you can wear that with right. a, with a with a like yeah. a, a, a um, yeah. yeah, a really fine fur on the inside. I like my cloak. I'm not replacing it. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, so Wesley, do you want this cloak or should I? My cloak. I love my cloak. I'm. I'm All good. right, I'm I'll, good. I'll whack this on. Sonic could have it. <laughs> you put the cloak on. <laughs> uh, no, Rowan needs this. Right? <laughs> okay, Rowan can have it. Or or Sonic. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so in the maybe pile, we'll put the cloak in the maybe Rowan pile. Yeah. Okay, next thing. Well, let's just do maybe piles. This for is everyone. a leather bag of fluff. I don't want that. Is that I magic material? Well, should we throw out the fluff and then we've got a bag, basically? All right. Whoa. Do you do that? Yeah. Okay, you start. <laughs> <laughs> She has this as every okay. single character. You need to attune to this. Oh, well then I... Then it's no, just... do you, I'm asking. No. Can you remember? You don't. No, you don't. Okay, roll d8, please. <laughs> Four. Okay, one you, you start, no. you pull one out and... Because because Wesley goes, we'll throw the fluff out and we've got oh, a bag, right. haven't we? <laughs> you get one and you throw it. Not, no, it goes... It like lands in the water. And then it kind of like starts bubbling. It like... And then it goes... <laughs> and then there's suddenly there's a massive goat oh standing there. No! <laughs> 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 oh my god. Just looks around. Like a huge, like five foot massive goat. Big old horns back. Starts chewing oh. chewing the cud in the, in the <laughs> that facial expression great. <laughs> it just starts chewing the marsh grass. That's very tricky. Where did that come from? I'll throw continue throwing I don't think you can stuff. do that. You can. Oh, okay. Yeah, you throw, you throw another one out. Yeah. There's a certain amount of times I can do it. Though. What's your reaction to seeing this massive goat come from the fluff? <laughs> <laughs> it's a goat! <laughs> Why is there a goat? What the hell? <laughs> do we eat it? Or do we Imprisoned do? animals. How did that come from this bag? Probably They've all been turned into gym. fluff. <laughs> Foot transport is the Okay, once you pull three, uh, you can't yeah, use it again until yeah. the next I'll one. Pull okay, one. so you pull one. another one out, go a roll d8. Five. Oh, okay, so that's actually a little goat that you got, <laughs> like that. The next one comes out, that one just goes, and then another one, a massive one comes. It's like Billy Goat's Gruff, right? Like a huge one, just stand. Comes up Hello. to you, starts sniffing your mushroom head. It's oh. huge. Oh, no, huge. no, no, no. Starts no, no. sniffing. No. No! It's <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 I don't even know how a goat sounds. Meh! <laughs> 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 oh, well, I don't like you. Scarlet, are you interested? I don't want that. I don't want that. And then you throw the third it. one out? Yeah. Okay, go on then. <laughs> Maybe Fine. Scarlet. You're gonna run out. Oh, it's just a small goat again. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. It's the big goat! Wait, six. Okay, then you throw another one out, you're like, ah, oh, get away! Throw another one out. He, <laughs> um, slight cheesy smell when it puffs away. And then a huge, <laughs> and there's a massive boar. <laughs> Just starts truffling off through the, through the marsh. Well, Maybe. it does, it, is, it, can, it does. Like it's a bit more in. Well, like it's maybe Sonic. Game. <laughs> Sonic can have that, so. It's well, like protection. me and Sonic kind of share things. And so I'll take Sonic. Where is Sonic? Is she still off? Well, she's sort of come back over. Hey, she's seen these huge what animals. Do you think of this? What the hell is that? It makes animals. What about you, Wesley? I'm okay. What are we doing <laughs> about the crazy magic boar that came out of the bag? I think he's fine. He's can off. You, can you bring it back in to the bag? Um, I don't know. What did you just? What did you just do? Was that an internal whistle? What did you do, my love? Are you losing your mind? Are you trying to whistle it? It's outwards. The boar puts its head up. Come here, mate. Ooh, whistle. Why is the pig? Whistling? Okay, you say, "Come here, mate." It comes over. Oh. Hello. Nora. 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 Like Nora. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you oh, want it to I'm hang around? Yeah, that's it. Okay. 
I think I'll put this in the maybe Rowan pile. Okay, maybe Rowan pile. What else okay. you got? Okay, potion of the most powerful potion of healing. Yeah, What's potion, that? Uh, supreme. Supreme, that's it. Okay, that's well a... that's just a. It's a. That's a. Oh, some. Why can't I spell? Um. Hey, Scarlett, do you want to hold on to this? Wait, who is not know. currently carrying? Maybe pass. Just keep the maybe pass. It's going really well with maybe yeah, yeah, pass. Yeah, yeah. I have healing potions. I have healing. You've got healing on you. Uh, do you? Have it probably won't. I think run out of healing potions. Okay. I don't need a healing. We can give it to Sonic because she yeah. is often the administrator of healing. I'll take it. Right, so. Well, like, the maybe me pile. Yeah, we'll bring Maybe it me pile, and then we'll all um, agree or not. Yeah. Spell scroll. Well, I think there's a there's a very obvious maybe pile for this. You're the only. Yeah. Ca arcane caster. Yeah, we'll put it in the scarlet pile. Can I read it or is it, would that use it? You can. I think, yeah, yeah you, you could identify it. it. You'd be able to do that. So give me an arcana check because this is quite a powerful spell. Um, uh, 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 just reroll it. I don't know. Didn't land on anything. That was cocked. Um, <laughs> 9. 14. 14. Looks like. You take it out of this like silver tube that it's in, like a holster, and you unravel it, and you're like, "Shit, this is a sixth level arcane spell." Um, and it seems so. When you're reading the, the scroll, you can sort of read it in two ways. It's different from anything we're used to in this world, right? So like, you can read it rudimentarily to understand what it is, and then behind it, there's like these glyphs and your arcane knowledge knows that with embedded within the words is like how to cast it do you know what i mean yeah. so as you just read it just straight this is a spell that allows you to it will channel through you incredibly destructive power oh. like oh, insanely yes. destructive and it will allow you to focus that destructive <laughs> power to a single line <laughs> this is the disintegrate spell Oh, it's it's, it's an exceptionally right powerful spell. Um, does she just know the name of it, or does she, will she not know what that is? You would, you would know. You wouldn't necessarily know that that's a spell you can learn, but you understand that this is an incredibly destructive spell, and it's a one use, so you can't copy it down or anything like that. You get to use this when you want to. You use can't it. copy it down anyway because you're not a wizard, but you could if you were a wizard. Mm -hmm. All right. Well. Let's, <laughs> Wendell doesn't say that. So, anyway, know, you you are, you are aware that this is like you could do a lot of damage with, with this, and it can if somebody is killed by this spell, it's like they're reduced to dust. It's pretty powerful. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. So that's in the maybe Scarlet or the definitely Scarlet definitely part. Scarlet. Definitely Scarlet. Um, <clears throat> okay. So what else are we left with? Well, there's a bag of. Amun it looks like, can I take a closer that, look and see wrong. if I can identify if it actually mm. is ammunition? These look to be, they look to be like metal ball bearings. D can I compare them to my other ammunition, see what they look like? Yeah. Um, they're about the same size as the ones for your palm pistol. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I... I yeah, think you this take the that. Roman pile. <coughs> and then we have this um, broken sword. That looks like it's maybe a death. I'm okay. Weapon. I've got a fixed one. I'm maybe good. it's well, not a sword. Can maybe I... it's just a fork. <laughs> <laughs> it's like other... Oh yeah, maybe it's not actually a sword. Okay, can I have that quickly? I just want to look at it. Yeah. Oh, he's so good. Can I? Oh, does it? Does it feel like? Uh, okay, uh, Scarlet. Do you know if? Can you tell if things are magical or not? Uh. You can do an arcana check. I mean, if you want to sort of try and I'm get a cast detect magic, actually. You cast detect magic. Yeah. Okay. As you do that, as you hold this item and cast detect magic, you get incredibly strong, like buzz. All firstly, all around because <laughs> there's a lot of items. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Detect magic shows you then that That's all right. of the items that you found. They're all magical. Those bullets, uh, whatever you said they were, they're, oh. ma they're magical. Those ball bearings are magical. Oh, man, that's cool. The, so we, uh, the cloak is magical. I don't know. Oh, whoever had that, well, I'm just, took, I'm just oh, pointing. Oh, you mean, oh, yeah. yeah. The, the cloak is magical, oh. the helm is magical, the bag obviously is magical, 
the Borbarians are magical, the potion's magical, the scroll is, and that Everything. thing uh, has the most powerful Dwemer coming off of it. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, what type of magic? Uh, Silly magic. Silly. Powerful. Yeah, just powerful, mate. Um, is it an evocation? No, I don't, think, I don't think the items are defined like is that. Is it just enchantment? It's just you get rare magic vibe coming off no, of it. A, I had to tell. I have another school of magic. That's <clears throat> no, but they don't define oh, like, um, <laughs> items like that. Can you define it? It's very, it's powerful. <laughs> okay. Uh, Take what you can get. You. Oh, this. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is powerful. <laughs> <laughs> so you are now on to it. Yeah, I mean, you got the bag of. Okay. I got nothing else. Uh, from this, from the uh, well, I've got the helmet. Everyone's yeah. got two except me, so I'll just hold on to this. It doesn't uh, mean it's mine. I don't have to. You have the scroll, and you have yeah, you don't have to. But I don't want it. Okay, cool. What about the helmet? Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what it does when okay. it. When it when yeah, it. let's just hold on. You can hold them for now because we right. don't know what they do. Um, so. <clears throat> can I try and attune to it, please? Yeah, you have to like go and separate yourself from the group for a while. Find somewhere. <laughs> Uh, Quiet. I'll be right back. I'm gonna. <clears throat> this kind of out. calls to you. Oh, it's calling to me. No, but but no, you feel oh, okay. like you feel like a nagging in your heart for this one. There's something. I just bought a really cool sword. <laughs> Stay in character. The you you remove yourself from the from the group and you you walk away for a bit. You find an old, you know, an old marshy tree to sort of like sit down with, and you you kind of sit with it in your hands and sort of start to stare and you start to sort of zone out a little bit and you realize that within this blade is a radiance like within it a powerful radiance that is comes directly from the higher planes the positive planes and that radiance can be literally channeled out where a blade otherwise would be and at the end of the at the end of the roughly 45 minutes, half an hour, 45 minutes that you spend understanding and letting in the power of this thing to yourself and attuning to it, <clears throat> this blade accepts you very quickly. Like it goes, you get the feeling in it that it has been handled by unjust and non-goodly people recently. And so you are awash with emotions. You get the sense of relief and pleasure that this sword is in your hand. You get the feeling of rightness. What does it, does it, it, what does it look like, the handle, by the way? Does it How do you want it to look? Because during the time that you're attuning to it, it's, it can take any shape that is desired by the wielder. Does it have anything inscribed on it? I need to check first. I'd say, give me an investigation check if you're... Uh, 11. Can I guidance? Oh, no. 14. You don't... Because the attunement process is mainly an eyes closed and you are, it's more of an emotional thing. It's more of a feeling into the item you've got and allowing it and having this pair bond almost with it. Um, it's beautiful. There are multiple... It could be too ancient for you to even know whether what you're looking at is... A language or, or an inscription or a rune or whatever but the the hilt is beautiful is all I can say the metals within it you notice there is palladium platinum gold ingots within it it is stunning and what you realize is it as it lays in your hands is that it kind of starts to become more fluid almost like it will shift to your will to become the look however you want it to look Uh, do I have to? Yeah, you don't have to now. You can think about that between sessions if you want. But as you come out of it, you realize that there is a a command, a command word that can be even spoken in your mind as well as out loud. <clears throat> and I cast a blade. 
set with my notes. notes. As you go further down into your The word is Aleph, A-L-E-P-H, Aleph. And you realize that Aleph is sort of a name as well as a beckoning. Aleph. Aleph, A-L-E-P-H. Aleph, not that. As you speak that, literally, a radiant blade made of pure radiant light just comes color? out from what it. Color? What color do you want it to be? Red light. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, bright, pure radiance. It'll be uh, like uh, orange, fade, nice. to, fade to pink. Yeah. Like well, a it's a sun blade, so it would be it would be like a bright, bright yellowy orange. And as you guys are still sort of figuring out stuff, as the the half an hour ticks by, you see from across the, Whoa. and you're literally you're holding a blade, the the handle with a blade of pure light. I touch the blade. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you take one point of radiant damage. Oh my god, that could have killed me if I was lower. Oh, sorry, three points because it's a plus Holy two. Holy shit. You take three <laughs> points of radiant damage. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it badly burns your hands. If I do that again, I'll die. <laughs> okay, so this is a plus two to hit and damage. Um, Why? I shouldn't have bought this crossbow. This thing has been nothing like Well, you can sell it. <laughs> the um, Or you can fight with two. I was going to do that. <laughs> that does, what's it called? Sunblade, yeah. It's called Aleph, the Sunblade. Um, it is a plus two to attack and damage. It is. Um, it does radiant damage, not slashing. So 1d10? No, 1d8. Or 1d10 if you use it two-handed. Um, no, actually, sorry, it doesn't say that. It's just a straight 1d8. Um, it does have the finesse. Does it have versatile? On its it has thing? finesse as its property and it, it emits bright light in a 15 foot radius and dim light for an additional 15 feet the light is sunlight that's important oh okay that's good wait hang on uh, so it is yeah so i can't let you choose the color sorry i didn't read that bit so it is like bright sunlight well, it's like a sunset i chose yeah. colors sunset so yeah i guess um you can, while the blade is out, you can reduce its radiance to five feet and then five feet, um, and you can make it go out to 30 feet. Right, 30 feet dim. Does that make sense? Okay. It is, it, it does mm -hmm. sense versatile, okay, so. Okay, great. Right, I'm not using dexterity for this thing. Yeah, no problem. Um, if you use this against undead, you roll an extra d8 radiant damage. Hell yeah. It's a good find, good art. Whoa, good sword. whoa, whoa! I guess it's not broken. What's <clears> it doing? <laughs> Did you I, fix it or what? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess me holding it is just fixing it. It never had a blade. It's it's made of sunlight. That's. It's absolutely. I'm talking scary. It's sick. <laughs> Just please be careful where you wave that thing. Okay, let me just write this down. All right. So while that's happening, you guys will be doing this simultaneously. Is there any items you want to think about, claim? Yeah, my cloak, the cloak thing. You, the cloak, okay. Yeah. Well, you put it on, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to try and, you, you have the sense that this, this might be something you might want to kind of sit down with mm -hmm. for a bit. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, that's pretty good, actually, all around. It's not legendary or anything like this, but you. This does require attunement, so okay. this will be one of your slots. Yep. Um. You get plus one to AC. Ooh. It's a cloak of protection. Cool. And plus one to all saving throws. Oh shit, okay. Cool. Oh, that brings your armor class back up <laughs> from the detrimental leather. <laughs> Combined okay. with the black leather that you've got, because I think you've still got that, haven't yeah. you? Like, you do look pretty badass yeah. now. 
Like you're all colorful in your skin and your head and everything, but your armor, like you've got drow black leather armor yeah. on that's magical and this cloak. It looks pretty badass. The ammunition, I just, we could do oh, an I'll no. identify thing, but I'm, I, just, I can't bother with that. I'll uh, just shoot one. <laughs> that's only for your pistol, the little one. It yeah. won't fit in the big one. That's plus three ammunition. Ooh. Plus three to hit, plus three damage. Oh, That's really good. Okay, cool, here. You have, um, let's roll, roll 3d12. Uh, oh, uh. <clears throat> 11, 12, five. 28, 28 plus three, plus three damage shots for your thing. That doesn't require attunement. <laughs> Bag of tricks I don't think requires attunement. So you've no. got two of your three slots taken. Okay, cool. So you taking the bag of tricks and the cloak? Yeah. All right. Um, who's interested in what else? Uh, I think it's done. Oh, the Head helmet. No, there's a helm. Oh, right. Can I put it on? Does it? Does it? Does it? I'm gonna put it on. Okay, you put it on. Wait, do you have to wear armor in order to? Remember, you've already got a magical hat. So if you guys oh, wanted yeah. to try, talk about it. Because you figured out what it does, it's uh, water breathing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna engage in two weapon fighting, by the way. Frostbone right hand, sunblade left hand. Okay. So you can use a bonus action to make an additional attack if you want. I think, or do you need to have some kind of weird fighting mm -hmm. style thing no, for you that? No, you need a fighting style to make your second attack deal deal more damage. Okay. But I'm a I'm a blood hunter, which means and paladin, which means I have proficiency. In. Oh, Great. not proficiency. I can do it. You should have a fighting style. No, there is a fighting style that makes my set, my bonus action attack deal more damage. Oh. But otherwise, it doesn't add my ability score to it. So I shall look back. Okay, how many items are you attuned to? You have all three. Yeah, this is Sunblade, Frostbrand, and... That's it. My camp invocation got destroyed, so... I okay. Don't. Do you want to try and attune to this helm? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. So it goes on like a skull cap, like a metal skull cap close to your, to your, to your <laughs> like Ming the Merciless, you know. Like, does, it, does it look good if I have my cloak hood up or do I have to look like a weirdo with it? <laughs> no, you look kind of cool with it. Uh, I don't know, I'll try and find a picture of what it might look like. Um, okay. You attune to the, I just want to see whether you can actually attune to this. Yeah, okay. Um, and remember, guys, like you can share items between each other. Like, you can kind of tune and trade and oh, stuff with each other. I want to encourage that. Um, okay. This is a helm of telepathy. Ooh. While wearing this helm, you can use an action to cast the Detect Thoughts spell. Save, <laughs> save DC 13. As long as you maintain concentration on the spell, you can use a bonus action to send a telepathic message to a creature you are focused on. It can reply using a bonus action to do so while your focus on it continues. While focusing on a creature with detect thoughts, you can use an action to cast the suggestion spell. Again, save DC 13. Suggestion? <laughs> Once you use the suggestion property, you can't do that again until the next dawn. Very nice. I nice horde. We want Wendell to be. You didn't get as much from that. That spell skull is pretty good, yeah. but you were already pretty front loaded yeah, with that's... the with the robes and the the crystal ball. So don't fight me. Nobody fight me. I wasn't. <laughs> no, I know, I know. <laughs> Rowan, can I test out this helmet on you? No, please. What is it for? Uh, making you more powerful. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, okay. That's a lightweight deception check. Sorry, I'll be cool. Insight. You roll insight. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> oh, no. What's it really for? <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, I can read your thoughts with this on. Alright, so shall I think of a, like a... Think of something that's not too weird. Alright, I cast Detect Thoughts. Make us make okay. Do you want to purposefully fail the save yeah. so that he detects thoughts? Okay, so this it's actually weird. The helm does you get this weird sense as you look at it, it's almost slightly nauseating as you feel yourself going to 
out of your own consciousness and into Rowan's consciousness a little bit. What's at the surface of Rowan's thoughts? What's her surface thoughts? Whoa, this bag's really cool. We can make animals pop out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting something. I love my wife so well, much. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking about the animals, isn't she, in the bag? I can talk to you tele telepathically now. All right. <laughs> I, I you, can re to... you can reply. All right, that's really cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. I also can cast this on you. Can you not do that without I cost my... suggestion. Oh, come Make on. a wisdom saving throw, <laughs> DC 13. Can I willingly fail this? Yeah, okay. okay. What's this the... is a hostile spell, so... Oh, what? no, I'm not willingly failing this. <laughs> it doesn't do damage, you're fine. I'm saving through 12. You fail. T uh, plus five because I'm in your presence. No, I, 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 that's five. for people that are Oh, sorry, choice. that's what it is. That's yeah. people my choice, you don't get that. Uh, um, you suggest a course of activity, limit it. This is a second level... <laughs> um, Do a backflip. <laughs> enchantment spell. Quit my head! You this is me? actually a really good spell. I'm going to read this out because as a party, remember, how you work together as a tactical group like you did with those wizards is really important. I think knowing what each other can do is really cool. So you suggest a course of activity limited to a sentence or two and magically influence a creature you can see within range that can hear and understand you. Creatures that can't be charmed are immune to this effect. So that's elves, but, um, for the most part, you know, and other things. I'm an elf. No, yeah. no, you don't have this. The though. suggestion must be, oh. yeah, you, it doesn't work on her. Yeah. No, she's a ladrid. She can be charmed. Nope. nope. I'm resistant to being charmed. Scar you try and do it. Do you want to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, then you, you try to do it. Make your save. <laughs> wisdom save. Make a wisdom save. You need to make two, actually. I don't have any, anything else. Five. Okay, make a one. Uh, well, I can be charmed, but I just have... The suggest uh, I suggest you to do a backflip. <laughs> the suggestion must be worded in such a manner as to make the course of action sound reasonable. You know, if Asking the creature doing to... Doing a backflip is going to make everyone think you're so cool, Scarlet. <laughs> He's right about that. So, yeah, Scarlet does a backflip. Uh, make, a, make an athletics <laughs> check. No, an acrobatics check. Uh, 11. And land in the marsh. <laughs> Think of oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was great, Scholar! <laughs> Thank you. Thank the you. target was most of the set on a fail save. It pursues the course of action you described to the best of its ability. The suggested course of action can continue for the entire duration. That's eight hours. Oh, gosh! No. <laughs> they do many <really> back. <laughs> yeah. okay. Keep back. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> If the suggested activity can be completed <laughs> in a shorter time, <laughs> the spell ends when the subject finishes what it was asked to do. Okay, the spell ends. She does a backflip really badly and lands in the marsh. Uh, I'm going to okay. have a lot of fun with this. Not on you guys. Can you not. please not use it against us? I just said not on you guys. Yes, consent, please. Consent. Yeah. My body, my choice. <laughs> <laughs> my mind, my choice. Yeah. Oh my and my God, you're making me backflip. Wisdom saving. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just does the consent. Detect, detect thoughts. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm, I'm not going to look at that stuff. I can, I'm just doing it so I can talk telepathically. All right. Uh, I'll, it's I'll, interesting because as you detect thoughts, all you hear is in his mind. Kill them all. I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. You know son. You know his son. Okay. Stop. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing detect thoughts because it allows me to telepathically communicate with people I'm I'm concentrating on. Uh don't worry, concern there's my middle name. <laughs> when do consent Rallen? You said my last name. Rallen. 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 How do you say it in my accent? Rallen. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was your accent with a stupid voice. Yeah, that's basically what your accent is. No. You sound so Let me try to do your accent. Hey, you got them. <laughs> <laughs> you got them. You, you Azure. You, you ladies are right. <laughs> Prismere. Prismere. I've forgotten the name of the place. Prismere is that uh, yeah. what it was yeah. before it was here, but yeah. You ladies are right. <laughs> You got them Azure eyes. 
is only enough room for one of us in this town. I'm not a sheriff. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll yeah, do you, it. You I'm pretty, pretty good at accents. Well, you know. I can't do an Irish accent. I mean, I can't do. What's well, Irish? Go on, try and do my voice, love. Go on, try and do <laughs> my voice. <laughs> I can't do it. I do not sound like that. I do not. <laughs> I do not Oi. sound like that. I sound Oi. like. I sound like. <laughs> Can I have taken a short rest while I tune into those things, please? No. God damn. You can't tune around is, short rest. Yeah, no, attunement is quite a. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Physically, okay, okay. emotionally demanding thing. I've got it. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well, you are all still quite wounded and hurt and. What do you want to do? It's taken about an hour, an hour and a half. We need a. a I'm going to say you can't short rest in this swamp. It's not you. For short rest, you need somewhere comfortable and dry. What about my horse? (laughs) That got obliterated. (laughs) Can I sleep on? Can I sleep on the pig? Like what happened to your horse? Yeah, I know. No. Ah. You can travel. You can continue to travel. No, I'm on two hit points. Yeah, I'm not. That sword did a number on me. <laughs> I should have gone. If you system shock rules, I would have taken system shock from that. <laughs> um, can you um like can you use these animals as a steed? Mm. As a steed? You can't, no. Like, ride well, not absolutely there. not. No. Okay. Well, I would say you could try. Could like. But it would require animal handling at quite a high level. Try. Could Sprocket sit on it? If Sprocket can pass an animal hand on it. Why? Is the Sprocket sitting on your shoulder? I know. Like they're yeah. they're wild magical yeah, animals. Right. They're just they are arcanely programmed to act like mm. you know the the, the beast that they represent. Alright, so here in the swamps of Prismere in this after this you know battle that took a huge toll on all of you what would you like to do you were headed if you remember northwest towards a downfall um but that you're not quite sure how much further there is to go as you look back Teleni hill is two three miles away on the horizon maybe a little bit more oh, i don't think you were in walking condition though like i can walk <laughs> Walk. 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 <laughs> Why Walk. do you speak like that? What's the problem? <laughs> um, you, you, you're not looking I've been to so many places. I'm picking up so many different accents. I know the feeling. Oh. <laughs> Wesley <laughs> says that. Just... Wesley, how are you feeling? Uh, I, I felt better. Yeah. I think I, uh, we ain't in any condition to walk, I think, to set off. I think we need to rest. I suddenly had like such a peaceful epiphany just now. <laughs> <laughs> like but a, we should have yeah, <laughs> spent <to> sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that means the predator's around. But um, me. we need. I, um, no, I what? Like, uh, we need to find. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't like, <laughs> we need to find a place to have a rest. I think. Okay, if somebody wants to try and look for somewhere that is restable, mm-hmm. I'm gonna need. Um, I think Sonic can do that. Because she's good at survival in nature. Anyone here got uh, proficiency in survival? Yes, Sonic. The look. No. I can't look. Okay. Anyone have survival as a proficiency? Sonic. What does proficiency mean? As a check. Oh, it's coloured in. What do you have plus three? Sonic is better. Yeah. Sonic is better. Okay, well, go ahead then. (laughs) <laughs> Sonic is worse. Sonic got okay. seven. Scarlet roll survival <laughs> check. Guidance. Plus six. You get plus one. Uh, <laughs> uh, Thirteen. Okay, let's um, roll d4 for me, please, Scarlet. How many hours it takes? I will not last. Okay. And uh, you wanted to perceive, so give me a perception check. This is just because in a fight you can, can lose sense of direction. Go on, go ahead. Uh, 14 okay well all you do see off in a direction that you believe heads 
um, kind of north, but more northeast in the direction it was going is the Queensway. Do you remember that broken tollway yeah. that you first arrived here on? You see that far off in the distance. Now you came to it sort of from behind you, but remember it's like this weird um, bridge that spans the entire of Prismere, like a, a roadway that is on these, you know, ancient, ancient stone tollway. But it's um, obviously it's ruined in places. But you do spot that, and I'd say, well, y y remind me, what do you roll survival? It was, I think it was thirteen. Okay. No, I don't know. I, yeah, maybe. Well, the best the two of you working out together, you with your, you know, where would be good to find, because it just seems to be marsh as far as you can see at the moment, and you with you start heading towards the tollway because at least that's a landmark that okay. you recognize. Teleni Hill is, just to give you an idea, Teleni Hill is southeast. You're heading northwest, okay? And it looks like that the tollway crosses diagonally your path along that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. But it looks many miles ahead of you. I would say m way more than five miles, okay? But you do notice it. Um, well, is this heading away from where we were originally heading? Well, you're heading towards where downfall. Jingle Jangle... Yeah, Downfall is north northwest. You're coming from southeast and you're heading northwest. Okay. The yeah. tollway crosses that. Okay. So you're not lost. That's okay. what those rolls mean. You're at least not lost. Um, you walk for, I would say, it's heavy going and with your wounds and with the with the, the landscape, the, the terrain itself, it's heavy going, but you walk for another few hours before you find a small raised hill, like not much more than 10 feet high out of the, the marshy grass. Uh, upon it, clinging to it, are a couple of, of kind of small wiry trees, um, but you manage to get up onto that hill and find some short Push rest. The pig up the hill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and you managed to all kind of like get onto this hill to huddle. Are you just bending down for a short rest? Yeah. Yep. I guess. Can we do long rest? I, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I only do. What, what about a watch? I only need half of. I There's need... enough of you to keep a watch throughout the night. Elves uh, do the watches because you guys can get. Well, we have half of the, sh the long rest. Yep. Yep, okay. That needs more than two of you to do it. Yeah. You'll all need to take a, a watch. What if, so if we only go for eight hours, let's only go for eight hours, and then uh, Sonnet is an elf, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you do so the first watch, and you do, and Sonnet does the second watch. You do three yeah. hours, three hours, and then two. But we can do more hours because... Yeah, that's nine. We can do more hours because we only need half of the short rest. They can just do rest, four each. Because we're out of room. So you just want Sonnet to keep what? Okay, cool. Me and Sonnet, we can. Alright, who's taking first out of you and Sonnet? Oh, wait, why is Sonnet doing it? She won't do anything. It's fine, just look. Ah, uh, Sonnet. First Sonnet goes first? Yeah. Okay. Just Her watch is uneventful and she okay. gets you out of your your uh, meditation to take over the second part. Roll d12. Oh. Notice how when Scarlet doesn't well, <laughs> feels nice to be home. The quietness of these these hours, you get to maybe reflect a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like you spent nearly two, nearly three, ten days being like away from home. And you suddenly, in your time of watch, looking around, give me a perception check. Um. Uh, yeah, as you look around at the beautiful sky, the uh, the glow bugs, and yeah, you just had a rough fight, you know. And you, as you're keeping watch, you're bandaging up some of your wounds and cleaning them out, getting your water fountain, and cleaning out some of the the nastier scorches you took. The great thing about having the arcane armor is that it doesn't rip in the same way it doesn't rend so a lot of the the damage 
feels like it will heal up pretty quick. And as you look around, you know, you feel a great connection to this earth. You know that the cheer grove, your home, it's maybe, and you're never that good with distances, <laughs> but you figure, damn, you may only be like 30 to 50 miles away from home. And so that feels good. That restlessness, that urging to to get back is, isn't there anymore. And so your hours of watch are found in a certain sense of peace and homecoming, even though you are literally trapped within this, this strange <laughs> realm. And as the hours tick by, you clean your guns, weird noises echo across the marshes. You clean your weapons, relax a little bit. This reminds you of when you used to keep watch with amongst the shroom grove, doing those night um, guard duties, like the sentry, just Keeping watch on the shroom grove, walking the perimeter, knowing that everyone else around you is asleep and that you had things and a little of that feeling comes back to you. <clears throat> the long hours tick by and the sky, maybe to mark a new dawn or not, you don't know, but some oranges streak and coral colours streak across the sky as the rest of you all wake naturally on this small grassy knoll. A little bit of a chill from the marsh air gotten into you, it's damp, but for the most part you all awaken, normally come back to consciousness, to a new, <laughs> a new day here in Hither. Your hit points are all restored, spell slots are restored, um, any exhaustion, I don't think anyone had any. Basically everything is Everything is restored. All right. <clears throat> Prepare your spells for the day, please. Those that do. Druid, Paladin. Same as always. Same as always? Well, yeah, basically. Okay, well, give it a moment to check on all of that. Make sure <clears throat> you don't know, but you know that at some point you may be coming face to face with a, a powerful hag, as it was described to you in in the uh, the tavern so the inn at the end of the road rather so okay okay good morning everyone hello <sighs> oh, how's everyone feeling about stage travel <laughs> everybody okay now yeah. yeah all right so who are we doing martian order which way are we going <laughs> That's a good question. Keep going northwest? Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, sure. This is where Wesley's going to try and get a bead on where you're going. Okay. So he's going to go off for a bit. I'll go and see if I can figure out exactly where we are. Or right. what we're doing. Not too great. 16, 17. Okay. Wesley, come on. <sighs> Do we even have rations? I have 39 days of rations. Breakfast. 38 days of rations. Yeah. 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 30, 33 days of rations. Yeah, because you're sharing all your food. <laughs> Leslie, can you do fine food and water? He's not here. He's off oh. tracking, trying to find... Um... I can purify water. You guys better have your own rations. I'm not spending any on uh, We bought them. Didn't we? Yeah, I've got enough. Uh, how many? How many people are there? Uh, six total? Yeah, six total. Uh, does anyone have some sort of special ability which means I don't have to eat? Nope. Oh, no. Right. no I'm trying that? to conserve everything here. <laughs> Alright, just wait for Wesley. Yeah. We wait for Wesley to come back. Okay. You wait. Well, you can talk about yourself as you. I hope he's not dead. So wait. Oh, I can see him. He's over there. <laughs> no, that's a tree. Oh, 
<laughs> you know, in these quiet moments, you know what I think about? What? Um. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. I thought you were going to be like, thinking about the pig or something. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, but well, the pig's gone, by the way, because it's the next good one. Where I think he may be. <laughs> yeah, the pig's gone. I'm going to throw a new one. Uh. Owl! Oh, if you got it, the Ross one, you yeah. know what they are. Great. Oh my god, it's gone out! Woo! <laughs> 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 no, we've gone out now! <laughs> 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 what? It could go check where Wesley is! He just won the bar. Yeah, he... Alright, you're going to start... Um, uh, Wesley comes back. Hey Wesley! Goes hey, off Wes. for about 10-15 minutes, then come back. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely the causeway that we arrived on. Yeah. I think if we yeah. can keep heading this direction and cut through the causeway, uh, it's just more marsh though, and the mist seems to be rising and getting thicker. But well, say we head off. Yeah. All right. All right. All right then. Who's leading? Um. Well, Wesley and. Okay. Yeah, Wesley takes the lead. I got the best perception in the world. Someone's good at survival. Oh, you up front with Wesley? Can I? Oh, can I? Can I have summoned Womble yesterday? Yeah. Where, before I went to bed. Like just before. I'm going to say no. I'll tell you why I will say no. Because you were so wounded. I think it fits your character that you uh, probably would have... Yeah, you would have kind of gone, man. You would have passed out. You're the okay, worst, um, worst wounded. Um, in the morning, I'm just going to be... I'm going to summon Womble real quick. Okay, great. You Me and that? Wesley out front, and then... This guy's always just standing awkwardly next to Serena. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sonic and Serena can walk together. You can all just be side by side, okay. behind the two leading. Yeah. So you could go 4-2 split. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You and Wesley up front. Okay. Um, how much distance between you two and, and the other four? Not much. Like, it's just like... Like 20 feet up? No, like 10. Ten feet ahead. Okay, cool. Okay. So you're all within conversational yeah. distance. Yeah. All right. Uh, group perception checks then to see what you notice as you walk. Can I do guidance? Yes. Oh, I'm perceiving. <laughs> oh. At least 20 different things. Um, I'm going to roll. What did you roll? A 20. 25. Nice. 25? I, get I got a natural 20 for Wesley as well. So oh, everyone's... what? I got nine. <laughs> I got 25. Okay. 25. You see dead people. I no, see. You see... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, first hour goes by pretty uneventfully. Just trudging again, ever northwesterly. Off in the far, far distance, like on the where you might look to the horizon, some. Uh, 10, 15 miles or so further northwest, you see huge arches of stone set within the fog and coming out from the fog. Um, huge broken columns, like of titanic scale, just massive. Um, again, to the north slightly, as you're, as you're headed in that northwesterly direction, as you look to the north, you you especially get and and you get glimpses of the um of the palace the oh, the, yeah, the top fortress of stolen dreams no what's it called <laughs> stolen keep, dreams keep it it's the heart palace place heart's desire heart's desire oh, yeah. the palace of heart's desire <laughs> yeah. not stolen dreams yeah. palace of heart's desire you get um, oyster shell like walls that that you that you see just for a moment this kind of these pinky hues this magical looking um uh, structure through the fog it's really quite beautiful like i say an hour goes past this is still difficult terrain with it being solid marsh and none of you are particularly uh well versed in martial and travel other than what you went through back in the prime material and in uh oran's home and around there um so you journey about five miles and in that first sort of 45 minutes to an hour 
and at one point, as the mud's sort of squelching beneath your feet and you, you know, it started to get a bit clumpier, mangrove trees with their big, almost straw-like branches going back into the marsh to slurp up the water, the ripples that your legs create through the marsh of all, of all the, the thick, the, the, the thick muddy water. The fog has gotten thicker, the thickest you've known it yet, such that I would see, say visibility is like 30 feet and then that's it. Um, you see here and there purple mushrooms clinging to rotten logs and stuff. So the environment is starting to be a bit more oppressive and close in rather than the more open marshland that the combat took place in last night. <clears throat> The crickets and the, 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 the chirping of the cicadas are, is constant. Big hungry frogs, purpley colour, and then, you know, take a, take a glow bug out of the air. And as you're walking through, you swear you hear it. Several voices all joined in a type of marching song. With sticks and stones, we'll break your nose, we'll beat you blind and steal your clothes. <laughs> but none among us can compare to one wily, swift and stand up hair. Scarf that's glorious, thief notorious, his deeds are truly meritorious. This is what you hear through it. With a wink and a grin, he'll show his cunning, a flash of his scarf, he'll take off, gradually getting louder as if they're coming towards you, he'll take off running oh, as quick as a bolt, his long scarf trailing, gasping, gasping, you'll end up flailing, you'll pout, you'll moan, you'll huff, you'll sneer, thanks to Agden Long Scarf Brig and Prince of Prismere. Thank you. Um, and <laughs> the, the singing goes louder and louder and through the fog you see six bipedal rabbit like oh. like humanoid rabbit like bipedal rabbit figures uh, wearing clothing emerge from the frog from the fog excuse me um, two of them are sitting upon an enormous giant snail that's pulling them along <laughs> and the others carry clubs and slings as they come through the as they come through the marsh do, have I, do I know what this is you know these to be uh, um what in terms of species uh yeah or like uh, you know that these are haringons these are the rabbit folk oh. and as as they as as they Obviously, your your the thing that other than their singing that makes the loudest noise is your horse, and so as they come through the fog, some forty feet away from you, couple, they all stop and the pig and I look. Don't have an owl now. Yeah, you got yeah. an owl now. They all stop, and one of them comes forward who's got a sling in his hand, hanging down by his, and goes, "This is a robbery. <laughs> if you resist, we'll beat you black and blue." I'm, I'm gonna help with telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the range rabbit? on that? Yeah, probably. Okay, hang on. Future rabbit. <laughs> let me let me see. Detect thoughts. <laughs> uh, just a uh, thirty feet. Uh, that's a uh, fifteen. Okay, they succeed. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No, no, you're wiling with Jebic. That's me, by the way. We want what you got. Or we'll beat you black and blue. That's how this goes. We're messing with the wrong group. We'll even take your shoes. All right, I'll step This through. seems to be a, a, a female Harangon. Um, kind of got sort of tight half. Uh, leggings on down to just above over the thick part of her um, rabbit like legs and then the, the, the springy long lower leg is completely exposed she comes forward hmm you're messing with the wrong alright 
Oh. Hello. Uh, we <laughs> want each of you to surrender. We just dis Wait, 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 wait. Oh. I ain't finished. <laughs> surrender your feelings <laughs> of delight that you remember from when you were given the best gift ever. Surrender them feelings. What? <laughs> Look, we just dispatched really powerful man. You heard me, Mushroom Top. Bit too far south, ain't ya? <laughs> I think you should move on. We just dispatched really powerful uh, mages and uh, you look a lot less prepared than mages. Mages and sages and pages. Hey, yeah, hey, gang, yeah, mages and sages. And they all just start taking the piss out of you. Mages? What is that? I don't know. I don't know what a mage is. All right, we'll be on our way. Thank you. Thanks Stand for the around. performance. <laughs> sure you don't want to give us a memory? Sorry, road clowns. Best present. We don't do charity around here. Oh, <laughs> It was a lovely performance. I'll recommend you to the next talent show. What gives you a beating if you try and get past us? A beating will come your way. No talent show I'd watch. Oh. Yeah, um, really you know not, you should be in a They sort of start like no, moving out now. They're kind of like moving around a little bit. Can you guys trying work to flank on this you. performance next time? You didn't rehearse. Performance? <laughs> How are you speaking? <laughs> when don't make fun of Wendell's like... All we're asking is your feelings from the best present you ever had. You better... Uh, um, you, it's really unwise to make fun of me. To be honest, I get really sad. Oh. Uh, I'll just I'll ready my gun. Um, I'm I can set you all on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, you set our world on fire! I'm gonna I'm gonna draw rabbit. both my swords and on the horse. Can, yeah, can, can we intimidate just them? Can we intimidate? Make an intimidation check. Uh, twenty-three. 23? Yeah. Okay, literally from the top of the horse, you pull out two incredibly powerful arcane swords. The frost band comes out and the, the, you ignite the, the sun blade. Um, <laughs> at this, they all change. Their ears go down. Oh. They go, oh, it's okay, it's okay, <laughs> mister. Uh, we are... Uh, we was just just messing with you, just joking with you. Uh, we'll be go. Uh, we'll be going this way then. <laughs> we're going this way. Get out no. of it. Yeah, yeah, you will give us what you were talking about, but for free. Uh, uh. <laughs> what? Yeah. Weren't they offering something? No, we want. Uh. We wanted your feelings, <laughs> oh, yeah. but you could <laughs> so, keep so, your so, feelings. So, so you don't have anything. Oh, you therapists. Your <laughs> feelings are yours. You keep them. They're important to you. We don't need no feelings. Yeah, I think you should get lost. Well, what do you have on you? Stop, we're not robbery men. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got this gourd with, look. <laughs> takes the the, 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 uh, the cork out of the gourd. Just, this is just where we put the feelings of people who give us the feelings for the nice, for the nice Why food. do you want feelings? You better go find those people you stole from and return those feelings. Because these things give you rewards from the people. Who is you talking about the the pr brigand prince of prison here? In your song, your little song. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's Agden Longscarf. Agden. Yeah, that clears it up. <laughs> We've not oh. met this Agden Longscarf. Where can we find this Agden? You still got your swords out? Yeah. You're still being quite threatening. Uh but the tollway where we's come from. Uh. It's not a marshy. Is he like lots of walkways? Is he one of you lot? Is he gonna try and rob us as well? Uh, sounded a little bit racist then, nearly there. <laughs> no, I mean like one of us lot. Like robbers. I don't mean rabbits. Uh, great singers, yeah, he's a great singer like us. I we weren't robbing. We were just playing with you. We was just. We were only messing Let's around. Let's just hop on now. We'll hop away. Is that not a snail? By the way, the snail has already been like moving away by all this. <laughs> I'll catch up with my friends. We'll we'll go east. You ain't seen us, right? Yeah. We're all right. Away you go. Sorry and all that. Woo! And just hops off. <laughs> they all hop off. 
<laughs> Sticks and stars will oh. get our ass kicks. Will <laughs> None of us can compare to the scary man with the swords. <laughs> Uh, the scarf is not quite as glorious as that sun blade. <laughs> there we go, as it should be. So a hag is a hag like um like a witch or is that something else? Just an old lady. Is that it? It's just an old lady. The hag derogatory. Yeah. But the 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 hag is is in charge of this realm or something. It's taken over the well, realm. Well, there's um she's just old. There's three of them. Have you ever met a young person in charge of a realm? Yeah. yeah. No. The one in charge of um, Kendall. No. No. Kentish. Kentish Keep. No. Kentish. What's it called? I didn't go there. Orin's home. Orin's home. Yeah. Orin's home castle. The guy there. You said he was young. He was a young man. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, Easily corruptible. We didn't know that he was in charge. We just know that he had a room there, and he was like, he could have been the son of the guy in charge. Where you go? I think oh. so. What, are we talking about the tower with all of the um, guards? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't know. Yeah, in Orin's home, there was a young guy there who was in charge. What was he like? He was a bit... I don't know. I mean, neither of you were there, so no one was there. It was a bit, um... It was all right, you know, just like any other rich person. He had an assistant guy that was a bit, was a bit suspicious. What do you all think about leadership? Well, I think Orin Sign is in shambles at the moment. We can't change. Are you much into politics? <laughs> the economy in the <laughs> is all. I mean, yeah, with the with the trolley thing, it's a bit, it's a bit in, in shambles. Troll here? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, they was getting, right? they was getting people to uh, get trolleys and then sell them. Or like collect money from somewhere else. Can't Is this remember. where you were talking about where they were doing an experiment or mm -hmm. something? I had so many years. Yeah, I got a bunch of them still. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what about the people? I mean, that many trolleys and and the the things that they were making underneath. Mm -hmm. But if you killed all the guards there. <laughs> oh, not all of them. Oh. Shh, I don't know. He probably got out. <laughs> what, the trolls? But what? There were a lot of trolls. There were loads. Blame it on the trolls. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is where you want to use your ball. ball. Check in on people. I don't want to do that. Oh. Well, all the people there were, were hanging you up. Yeah, they were horrible people. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah. So Who you hangs were, you, people by their neck to... to Attract trolls, that's just like really. I'd have used like rabbits. Well, actually, you'd like big animals <laughs> like a cow. Uh, Wouldn't that be easier? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. You hear through the fog, we're not bait! <laughs> <laughs> hear the rabbit. Um, well, they weren't cows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they could just use well, something else, but no, they decided to use people. Uh, 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 there was a village near. Was there a village nearby the troll thing that we were going to deliver like the evidence to? Yes. How far away was it from the actual? Mm, just not far, like mm. ten miles. No, we well, were. We weren't going to deliver the evidence there. Oh, you mean? Um, uh, uh, Everdale. Yeah, I Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a long way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just not worth it. Yeah. Well. Well, they might hang more people out. Or we killed all of the trolls you have guys killed them. And they're all <laughs> running around, rampant around the uh, wherever the area is. I hate trolls. What is that? I mean, so do I. Do you yeah. mean in particular? Yeah, in particular. Which well, they're just unnatural, all of them. I hate them all. I'd love to burn them all. Mm -hmm. Good. I had, a guy in my, oh, sorry. I had a guy in my old group who used to be the one that dealt with all the trolls. Okay. He was like, a pyromancer, that's what he called mm. himself. Do you want to hear his, you look yeah. at me like you want to hear a story. No, I'd love to hear his story. What happens? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not much trouble. Uh, 
Wendell takes a while to prepare himself for the story. <laughs> like, his name was Zardin. Right, yeah. He was like a like a religious guy. Like cult. And he and he uh he, he kept himself he didn't share any information he came across. He didn't really talk, he kept to himself completely. We didn't even know if he wanted to really associate with us. It was like every time we tried to talk to him, he just would ignore us. And oh, was he dead? No, he wasn't oh. dead. Um, yeah, he wouldn't share anything. Even if he found out something that like a clue on like a mission that we were doing, he just wouldn't tell us. We would have to figure it out ourselves. <laughs> and he, he, he got killed eventually, as everyone else did. He was murdered by another member of our party oh. uh, while he slept. Oh, and he knew that she was being... Okay, so her, her name was Shara. Was this the one who was controlled by that weird Yeah, thing? there was a... There was, a, oh, there was like a weird... I don't know what it was, but there was a weird parasite in her brain that was turning her into something else. And he knew that she had a parasite in her, but she didn't tell any of us. Because he, I don't know, he just kept the information and then himself. He, he got killed. And then he got killed by her, so it's his Shit. fault. How many people was in your party? Twelve. I don't think I could be in a party of twelve. That's a yeah. lot to keep track of. There was like, there was, there was a guy who hit things really hard. There was a, there was a guy who was like a train sword master. There was like a p person who played an instrument. I told you about it. There was like a punchy guy. There was a wizard. There was. Uh, yeah, me, pretty much like everyone there. Every every possible archetype <laughs> that you could ever think of. It was just like, you know. Yeah. It right. was a bit much. They didn't. None of us really liked each other. We kind of just did it for the money. Oh, yeah. Well, I think there's a big difference in. But we were all associated with the Watchers in some way. It is. We is the Watchers, by and the we way. We watch over the plane and make sure nothing, nothing bad. Gets in and kills everyone. Are you like self appointed then, or is that.? No, oh, there's like a council. Council of Watchers? Yeah. <laughs> what, um, so how do you watch though? You can't really, you can only see a little tiny bit of the plane at a time. Yeah, but there's a lot of us, so we spread out and we go. And then what do you do when you watch? Well, we watch for things like. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what, what are you watching for? Things that. Immigrant. <laughs> No, it's not like people like you. We don't we don't see people that we don't see elves and like very wild creature. Uh, we don't uh, we don't uh, you know mm. that was magic by the way. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, oh, I like that. Uh, we don't. Yeah, we just look for things like you see a thing that driving people insane when they look at it and like it's like it's weird like tentacle monster or something. It's like killing a bunch of people in town. Tentacle monster. So do you think um do you think everything that's wrong with your plane is from other planes? No, there's a lot of things wrong with our plane that is native to our plane, such as trolls. But you just don't deal with that because you're not We do deal with that. We have to kill a lot of trolls. Because anything, that was because what about we were the people? Cornwall. What do you mean? Because like they only this is not just I'm not trolls. into politics. Oh, that's not what I was asking. Like, you think because like, you think that people from other planes go into your plane and cause trouble, but I think most of the troubles on your plane are caused by your own people. Yeah, I know. So why isn't your whole deal in life to purge your own plane of its own cancers rather that's than... that's not my job. That's someone else's job. Even though that's it's like, like the, the, the heroes who go out there for adventure and then, you know, like, you know, save the, the world or whatever. There's something people that like to become heroes out of nowhere and they, their job is to you know fight back whatever threat is it already in our plane but that's not what i do i don't go but out you already. chose your own job so I don't, what I don't, made you choose choose to do this it's something very personal to me because uh you know i had a horrible experience with uh, th something that i couldn't understand that came from another plane and then I just didn't understand I couldn't stop it so now I now I choose to fight back those things when was the last time you were uh, watched? what do you mean? what, are, what do you uh, like uh, when you watch things when was the last time you got actually to do that? yeah 
Last time I... What? <laughs> you said you watch things. What do you... I don't... I, I'm when part of the time, watchers. Yeah, when was the last time you did this job? Did a job? Yeah, when, like, like you're you saying said you, you get rid of things. the horrible things from... The you last time I... I got rid of a horrible thing was no, that no, no, thing no. we killed all together. What thing? And the, 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 uh, the giant weird yeah. tentacle thing. That was not from our plane, and that was killing things. But that wasn't even on your plane, that was in the, the end Fable. That wasn't in the Fable. That was when we went to the uh, mushroom ride. Yeah, that was in the Fable. It wasn't in the Fable, we were still on the Prime Material plane. But the f um, so, so... But you just happened upon that on a activity. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't maybe yeah, that I was mean, someone else. I maybe mean, the so bodies like in the wall, maybe a few of those were watchers that were seeking out that thing, but they failed. Do you seek out things or do you just stumble upon them? No, we go to meetings. Oh, when's your next meeting? Yeah, you haven't been to a meeting. Uh, a DM Do I know when the next meeting might be happening? Hmm. No, you would take like a pilgrimage. When was the last one? To the last one you went to was say like three years ago. Hmm. So they haven't like they you'll get called. Or... They'll send like a bird. Oh, right. <laughs> Do you get paid at all? This no, my payment is defending the realm. That's nice. um, but my, my payment is knowing that I've saved lives and also the treasure that I steal from them. But the thing is, like the last thing we killed, that didn't save anyone's life. We just went into there. Did you see the bodies in the walls? No, because they were all dead, so you didn't really save okay. any of them. Do you understand that that happened gradually over time, mm. and more and more people were dying? Yeah, mm. I guess. How many more people would have died if we hadn't? So, but, but Eventually something's you've gonna kind of it. like diverted from your mission right now because you're not even on your plane, so... I'm diverting from my mission because I'm helping my friends. What if when no, you, I, I, what if when my you friends come, come back, before... No, well, nothing I, comes before my oath, but my missions are just missions to me. They're just quests. They're, they're, I'm still focused, I'm still thinking about my oath, I'm still thinking about saving the plane. That's currently on my mind right now. Hang on there. But... Sometimes my uh, the, the, my own needs and the needs of my friends might be the thing that I'm currently focused on, and I think that's okay. But if there was a group of watchers in the Fey and they saw you, why would they be in the Fey? Well, I'm, I'm not saying a, a group very similar to the people you hang around <clears> with were in this realm, right? Uh, and they saw you kill that elf, and they think he looks like a bad. No, 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 I didn't mean that. I meant the wizard, the red guy. They're not from. This plane. I've right. done them a favor. But you're not from this plane, so they might just think, crazy guy killing people. I haven't killed anything on this plane yet. Uh, Didn't other you kill than one the... of the red guys? No, no, I haven't killed any native creatures for this plane. Yet. Oh, right, oh, right. So it has to be from the same plane. Yeah, you except, killed Will of Wisps. Except. No, we didn't. I uh, accept those snake thingies, but those attack me first. Oh, okay. And I do kind of regret that. Um. <sighs> But like, so, if for instance, because of that, you would be okay with, someone could see you as an intruder onto our plane. I am intruding on this plane. So you would expect the same... we're trying to same... leave, that's the difference. I'm, tr I'm trying we're to get We're not off. trying to leave, we're trying to get to this other plane. But, so but we well, okay, leave. ignore that, but you would expect the same reaction from, say, if this realm had a version of the Watchers here, you would expect them to react the same way that you react to people going I think it's within plane. their right to start hunting me. Okay, we're starting at manhunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, the the only crimes I've done is kill those tentacle thingies. But Sir, whatever his name is, um, so Sir Talavar. Talavar. Talavar said that those things were bad anyway. Yeah, they were, that's like if a creature. No, no, from, I agree. That's like, like if you invaded them. the prime material plane and then started killing trolls. No yeah. one's gonna be mad except the trolls. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be like, okay. I, I, if I came across and I saw. Some horrible monster killing trolls on the Prime Material. I'm gonna be like, okay, it's not hurting me. It's actually helping me. So as long as I'm, as long as I can go and loot the troll leaders afterwards, then I'm fine with that. But uh, so like, um, who is like in charge of your association? Do you have a? You don't have a god, so who gets to be in charge? And how We're all you... on the council. We all have equal power. So. Oh. So how do you know when the meeting is if no one's leading? 
they get together, they organize it. I could call for a meeting right now. I don't think many people would go unless I had something real serious. Well, you could call for a meeting. Why don't you call them and say, we're stuck? Oh, in... hello. I don't have any web content. But you just said you don't. Hey, I normally... I have an owl. Well, we can't get an owl. I'm to <laughs> go across dimensions. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to criticise your thing. I'm just trying to learn cool. about it. And because at first I was a bit like, you hate immigrants, you know? How? Like I immigrants are people. What? No, just like uh, at first I thought you would just kill anything that comes across into your plane because you don't want it to be on your plane, like territorial, like you know. Mm. That's the impression I got. But I understand now that that's not what it is. That's not what it is. <sighs> but uh, yeah, okay, great. Well, um, thanks for helping me understand a bit better. Yeah, if you need any more info, I'm right here. Okay, that took up several <laughs> hours of, of, several of, hours. of uh, yeah, yeah, of walking time through the marsh, <clears throat> and um, yeah, I'd say way past midday time and into the sort of the late afternoon, as you discuss, learn a bit more about each other, <clears throat> and like I said, the 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 marsh stretches out ahead of you. It is much more enclosed in though. And it's not long before you notice a rickety causeway made of wooden planks um, before you. That seems to, as you, as you, as you notice, the visibility has, has eased up a little bit and the fog has sunk to ground level. So you're, eyes on you know horizon type of visibility is much much better now um but your footing is much more uncertain and so from out of this ground level fog you see this like it's like a web of rickety planks and walkways um all joining up branching off into um spindly long piers that jut out into the marsh and come together <clears throat> many of them you see converge on an enormous trunk um maybe some 30 feet tall 80 feet wide if this had once been a tree it would have been enormous <laughs> in its in its in its height um and many, you notice, many of the causeways converge on this um, ivy-coloured tree trunk. This you're all seeing some, what, 300 feet out? Um, if you would like, nearby you see one of these walkways if you want to get out of the swamp. All of you have got wet yes. feet at this point. <laughs> Well, uh, except me, except you, you're on I've horseback. I've got mushrooms growing up from out, uh, on my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, your horse would not be uh, able to walk on the causeway. It's just too unlevel ground. So you can track, like, flank if you guys want to get up on a walkway. You can flank it on the horseback or you can ban it or you can dismiss your horse. I'll get off, but I won't dismiss my horse. Okay. All right, I, I can communicate with it, right? Yeah, rather rudimentary level, yeah. Totally. Well, yeah, talk to you before. He's, he's spoken. Oh yeah, while well, it's within a mile, I can talk to it telepathically. So I'll just great. leave it there. And if I need it, I'll call it. Okay, great. All right, you get up onto some, so well, solid-ish ground, dry ground. These, these kind of planks that you're walking across, like a rickety pier jutting out into, instead of into a sea or a lake or anything like that, just into the marsh. Um, you'll get a second or two to like wring out your lower leggings and, and, you know, tip the water from your boots before you continue walking in what you hope is a kind of a northwesterly direction along these planks, which kind of wind somewhat, join other ones, this large kind of course, causeway. Um, who has the highest passive perception, please? I've got 12. I've got 13. Uh, oh, it will be on your other one. Eight plus your... No, wait, no, it's just ten plus your perception skill. Oh. 
Yeah, ten. Ten? Twelve. Thirteen. Thirteen, okay. <clears throat> you notice something, like a, like an odd feeling as you're walking along with uh, Wesley next to you. Actually, Wesley's got a pretty good uh, passive. Um, you're walking along and you're suddenly aware that there's another figure in your group. <laughs> And what? along with you is a hunched, hooded figure just walking <laughs> along with you. This ain't a caravan. <laughs> oh. Not a caravan, you say? <laughs> well. Ooh, oh my god. <laughs> it certainly is one that I've joined. <laughs> I'm... Uh, introduce yourself. Um... Absolutely. And this figure casts off their robes <laughs> and there's another harangan, like bipedal oh, yeah. hair, that casts off their robes and studded leather, um, like brigand leather, uh, cloaks them and a long 15 foot scarf, blue scarf, oh, yeah. trails out into the air, <laughs> sort of like flapping on some weird mystical wind. In one of their hands, they hold in their left arm, there is a small buckler shield. On the other one, they've got a brand, oh. like a, a red hot brand. Oh, shit. In like a, a sort of a triangular shape on it. At the end of the brand, that the glows white hot almost. It uh, has the brand of like three hairs stretched out end to end in a triangle shape. <sighs> Welcome. Welcome. Can you oh. do that again? Can you put the cloak back on and do that again? I'm like, Acton. Oh, oh. Long scarf, You're obviously. Right. We, we ran into some rabbits that was talking about you. Mm. Yeah, they were singing. About me. Yeah, there was like, yeah. this guy has a really cool scarf, it's really long, and you shouldn't mess with him, he will break your bones with stones or something. Well, that would be me now. You're in my realm. So, <laughs> what this means is, he is empties out your pockets. Uh, look here. You're surrounded by us. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you look around, actually, it's you who's surrounded, my friend. So why don't you just... I'm going to look around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, as you look around, you do see in a couple of skiffs nearby, like with... Um, with wading sticks, you see a couple of like reed skiffs, each with two harangans on them. A couple of them have got like crossbows pointing at you. Um, so you see two of those again, slightly silhouetted in the in the fogginess that surrounds you. And up on the up on the uh, on the planks on some of the parallel walkways and everything, you see several of these. Harangans, one of them with a long blow dart, another with a with a sling. Um, yeah, yeah they, you do see plenty of these figures starting to materialise out of the fog. This can fail fail after succeeding so well last time. I'm gonna draw both myself. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what are you intending to do? Intimidation. Yeah. All right, go Can for I it. Do you guide them? Um. Yeah, all right. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's a skill. Uh, 14. Oh, ho, 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 he hops <laughs> back, hops back. Oh, scary. Word got back to me, uh, Mr. Magic Two Swords. We ain't so scared. And we prepared. <laughs> um, so the thing is, like, we have nothing. We're just lowly beggars. <laughs> well, I know that ain't true because I can see what you got. So no, I'll take your try. most precious <laughs> items each. Just hand them down, just pass them down onto the walkway. The first gold I ever made on my adventuring journey. <laughs> Looking one gold. <laughs> <laughs> your most precious things. Sorry, you're deaf. I know you ain't got ears like me, but you should have heard. Out with it. Pockets out. Serena just starts going, okay, no, all right, I will. Serena. And just pulls out like a little saucepan. 
and goes, <laughs> it's my best copper pot. And she chucks it oh, down stop. on the clang, 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 clang. Serena, no, it's fine. Serena, don't be there. Serena, stop. <laughs> Good start, little un. Oh. What about you, I lot? just gave you my most precious, most valuable. You production. can lay that sword down. I'll take that. My illusionary airy swords. Illusion Say I'm that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a wizard, and here are my cursed blades, which forge from my mind. Which make you die slowly. No, nah, you're a poetic one. Deception, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> no. no <laughs> uh, nine. Um, I'm joking, obviously. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> Talky one, ain't we? We got a talker. Pop it down on the decking, and it'll stop you getting a beating. Now, won't it? By who? From yeah. From your little cocktail friends. You and your oh. rabbit pets. <laughs> Shouldn't you be robbing gardens right now? Let him have it, boys! <laughs> Roll initiative, please. <laughs> oh, struck a nerve. <laughs> <laughs> um, 13. 11. Uh, 19. Right, hang on, let me give me all them again. Uh, 19, I heard there. Mm -hmm. Scarlet, 19. 13? 13. 13. 13. Uh, Wendell, 13, uh, Acton got 21, what did you roll, 11. Ron, 11, great, uh, Rowan, 11, Wesley, 17, Right. <laughs> now I need to know what order you're standing because this plank, these planks are like five uh, foot wide. So in terms of the marching order on the actual planks, I feel who's, like I was right, right who's up the front? You're right up the yeah. front. Okay, I will say Wesley's it. straight behind you. Next to Sonnet. How you're far? Is it just ground underneath these? Marsh. Yeah, it's like yeah. about a three a three foot drop down into marsh, okay. which is oh, okay. difficult terrain, half speed. Um, if you are not prone in it, you're restrained oh, okay. until you lose use all your movement to get up. Okay, and then you're at the back, Scarlet. Okay, so great. Serena, if I'm again. using two weapons to fight, can I still use extra attack? So is that three attacks? No, it's two attacks and then bonus action attack. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right, we kick off. Right, Agden is going to start by making a branding iron attack on you. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Uh, on who? Uh, first on you, because you're right at the front. That's a 23 to hit. <laughs> get rounded. Okay. I need some kind of stupid Feywild combat music. I don't want it to be too serious. Mario. Feywild combat music. Mario, did you say? Do Bowser's boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'll do it. Okay. Okay, so 23 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Okay, you take. If it might hit your cloak and you won't get branded. It hit me. You take 9 points of fire damage. Oh, because I'm and you are magically branded. Oh, shit. Um, as he hits you, he literally. <laughs> disappears you oh. can no longer see him second attack he's going to go for wesley laughing the whole time uh that's a 50 that misses um that is the end of agdon's go he is invisible to you Gosh. um scarlet you're up you see this happen up out, out the front I will say to you, from your vantage point at the back of the group, you see two of these skiffs, these little rafts, right? Each of them has got two of these harringans on, and they're all kind of like floating in towards there's, you. There's only, there's only two skiffs. There's two of these skiffs, one each side of the, the causeway that you're on, the walkway you're on. Okay, um, I will just... I think I'll just, you know, magic missile the two of the people on there. On your left. Right? Yeah. The, oh, sorry, you're pointing to your right, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, your right hand one. All yeah, right, can the right. use my cloak for that and not my. Sure can, sure can. So you throw how many of these out again? I think it's three. No, no, it's my one. It's well, it's one. Because your cloak improves it. What, what level does your cloak say? It, it does it at fifth level. 
pretty sure. I don't have my clip on. Star I'll get, I'll get it. Uh, rubber stars. Here we are. Yeah, fifth Vigil. level. So first level is three. First level is three? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so seven. First level, seven. Yeah, seven. So you it. roll d4, add one each time, seven times. Impossible talk. So just, you call, you add one and call out the, the number with no, the addition. Just, yeah. Okay. Seven times, go for it. Two. Yep. Yeah. Two. Uh, five. Four. Two. Uh, five. Three. That's it, that's it, that's enough. Okay, good work. So there's two of them on these. Do you now you've got seven that you can you are firing out. Do you want to put four on yeah, one, three on another? Solid, yeah. All right, cool. All right, you, rabbits, no. you blast <laughs> these out. Yeah, I don't even know what noises rabbits make with their hair. <laughs> <laughs> they just go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, you um, great. You inflict nine points of damage on one of them. And you inflict a lot more on one of the other, eight, 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 uh, 14 on another. Bear with me a second. Just got to get my stat blocks for my Harangan bandits. Do I have to attack to make the second attack with my bonus action? I'm not wondering to you. Yeah. Do I have to? Or can I just bonus action, like, attack? No, it's not a bonus action attack, no. Okay, hang on two seconds. Harangan, oh! Oh, you killed two on that boat oh. straight away. Oh. You oh, just no. blast them and like tufts of fur just oh. like that. Oh. Like, so, beep, so beep, so you just hear high pitched squeak they as you literally just. You just like tie fighter them. Like, like that. You just and they are blasted. Um, is that the end of your go? You murderer? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll just end it because she's just getting good. Immediately. Okay, uh, that's the end of Scarlet's go. That's two of them down. Wesley just goes jeepers. Um, <laughs> and, oh god. <laughs> Who is this guy? Jeepers! Reapers! And is going to <laughs> make a short sword attack against Agden, flat of the blade. Dude, you're in my way. Uh, that misses. Can someone throw ink on him so I can see him? <laughs> okay, five, six, seven points damage. All right. Um, that's the end of Wesley's goes. He goes slap, slap. One hits as Agden ducks it. Um, he's going to use. No, that's fine. He's not going to use his reaction there. Um, that's the end of Wesley's go. Wendell, you're up. Okay. Three attacks. I'm gonna attack him, even if I can't see him. He's sure. standing on five feet. Away. Yeah, disadvantage. That's yeah, okay. That's fine. Okay, first attack. First attack. That's uh, twelve to hit. At disadvantage. Oh my god! Yeah, I forgot. Huh, fumble. Okay. Uh, so. So you fumble the first attack. Second attack is twelve to hit. Unfortunately, that misses too as you swipe forward. And then third attack with a bonus action. Fucking. I'm getting mad now. I rolled three three times. Oh. oh so that's 13 to hit. Oh, unfortunately, not. This, this The head of all the brigands is quite fast. And uh, you already notice he's incredibly dexterous. I don't actually. I don't see him. No, you don't notice anything. All you know is that like, your blades swish through the air and don't hit anything. Uh, and you've still got that burning feeling from the, from the brand. Um. Okay, uh, bonus action? Oh no, you used your bonus action. Yeah. Okay, done. Rowan, you're up. Okay. Uh... You see you see this. So you see Wendell attacking Agden Longscarf, uh, but he looks clumsier than you've ever seen him in combat. He's uh... look, He's acting like this, like trying to get him, <laughs> and you're like, why, how? Wait, wait, he can't see him? He can't see but him. But I can see him. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. How does that work? Just Anyone who's branded. Just oh, shoot. Oh, right, right. Can't okay, see him. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, great. Okay, I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna attempt to do disarming shot. Nice. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's try this. Where's my face? Yeah. Okay. Okay, first shot. 
14 to hit? No, it misses. Okay, second. Poof, goes r r wide. Does so scare all of the. Every time you do it, the, uh, the the rabbit's ears go down very quickly. <laughs> like when you shoot. 15. And that misses as well, I'm afraid. Oh, these are... I'm not hitting this guy. Uh, okay, uh, so that is my. That is my action. Uh, okay. I'd like to. I think. This is all going to be theatre of the mind. I haven't got a uh, layout for this. Yeah, okay. Right. Is, um, is melee, is my gun a melee weapon? No, it's a ranged thing. Range weapon. Oh, that was useless then. Why, okay. what are you asking? No, don't worry. Well, do you want to say and then we'll work it out together? Um, it's a thing called symbi symbiotic entity, but uh, which gives me an extra 1d6 necrotic damage to any of my melee weapon attacks. But I don't yeah, that would be melee. short sword. That's useless. Okay, um... You just, just pistol whip them. <laughs> okay, um... Bonus! What's gonna be it? Can you do anything? No. What? Look at you all getting down, trying to cause you're losing to a rabbit. <laughs> losing to a rabbit. I three, three times. You just Don't even start. you I killed an art rage and a rabbit's gonna <laughs> kick your ass. <laughs> uh, well, I'll do Halo of Spores. Okay. Does that affect friendlies as well? No. You're surrounded by invisible necrotic spores that are harmless until you unleash them on a creature nearby. When a creature you can see moves within a, a space within 10 feet of you, or starts its turn there, you can use your reaction to deal 1d4 necrotic damage to that creature unless it succeeds on a constitution saving throw against your spell save DC. Cool. The necrotic, yeah, yeah. So if he starts his turn within 10 feet of you, he's got to make yeah. a con save. Yeah. Got it, okay, cool. Remind me when it's his turn okay. again. All right, nice one. Or if uh, he moves within 10 feet of me. He's already within oh, 10 okay. feet of you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, it's the other Harrigans goes, the other oh, bandits. No, get ready for some. Damn. Yeah, you're gonna get some sling bullets. Oh. <laughs> all right, there are. Uh, they're all gonna be using ranged attacks against you uh, and pack tactics on you. So, um, two have already died, and that has affected their morale slightly. Yeah. <laughs> they are a little bit uh, oh, put out by that. Um, Don't be racist, Charles. Treat them as you treat any other race. So you oh, know that there are there are six others. And on the next turn, the giant snail with its two will be arrived back <gasps> here. Snail! Okay, so that will be entering the, the thing. Oh, the ones from before here. Yeah, well, <laughs> the ones that you saw a couple of hours oh. ago that you frightened off. This is their base. So they just they, they took a big circuitous route back home. Um, okay, so firstly, the two on the other skiff are going to... They're outraged and they're gonna attack you. So they're gonna use their slings. Uh, first one get, uh, that's a 10 to hit. It doesn't hit you. No, it doesn't. No, do a 10 to hit. She laughs in her face. And then 20 to hit. Yeah, that gets me. Do you, you wanna use shield now? <laughs> yeah. What's you, your, you're like, ha ha ha, and then the second one, did you draw shield? Okay. What's your armor class, by the way? 15. No, that'll still hit you if you use shield. Would it? Yeah. Watched, uh, shield gives you plus five. Oh, uh, so what shield does is it automatically negates magic missile. If anyone casts magic missile against you, you go shield. Magic missile doesn't work. And anything else, it just gives you five to your armor class. Yeah. Adds five. Um, yeah, don't do shield. It'll hit you anyway. Yeah. I think that's hilarious because one goes really <laughs> wide and you're just ha, 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 and then one <laughs> you in the side of the head. Kills our friends. Oh. Got murderers. Bloody murderers here! Murderer! Kill the murderer witch! Six six points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, As a stone know. pangs you painfully on Scarlet, the temple. You're like evil. Stop! <laughs> it's, like, it, it's a big old oh, rock and it hits you at such yeah. a like you get a momentary <laughs> flash of white and you're you a bit of nausea come. Um that's that one. Hang on a second. Well, I definitely can't the, the invader is someone else is around now. 
actually. It is certainly me. <laughs> but I never had a problem with people invading the rounds. <laughs> And then one of the other snipers is going to light crossbow. Yeah, Sniper. you're the killer so far. So two others are going to fire their light crossbows <laughs> at you. That's a 14 to hit, which misses, and a 19 to hit. Unless I use shield for that one. You want to use shield for that? Yeah, I'll use shield. Okay, that's your reaction for the round. Okay, that then... Okay, that would have done nine points of piercing them. damage, but it <laughs> off as you, of you enact the shield. Okay. <laughs> Two yeah. others are going to be running across because there's six total. Um, one's going to do crossbow at you. Okay. 21 to hit? Yeah. Okay, you take eight points of piercing oh. damage. Okay. And it's going to hide. Nice. Okay. They can, after they take an attack, they can hide straight away. So that was a oh. sniper. So you, so it can't be located for an attack at the moment. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, and there's one more. It's going to go for... Uh, no, you're fighting Agden by the looks of it. So it's going to go for Wesley. And misses. All right. That's the I'm end of their go. Really need to roll no, I'm going to keep them out of the combat just to keep it simple. Because I've got a lot to keep track of. They're just like in the middle of the group. Just being like, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, all right. Top of the round. Agden is back on. He's going to... How long does this brand last for? You don't know, but you can't see him. But he is going to try and kill you. No, he's going to try and... It's not quite that dark and horrible in the Feywild. It's not to kill yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like that. It is a very dangerous so level. <laughs> so, they're all so lovable as well. <laughs> okay. He's going to try and branding attack you and Wesley. Okay. Branding attack on you, natural 20. Ah. Nice. No, I'll take this MF out. <laughs> no, don't kill him. You take 13 points of fire he's damage. He's a menace. He's robbing everyone. 13 he's points of fire damage and he vanishes. So any shots at disadvantage now. Okay. Um, but he, he starts his go, so he needs to make a... Oh, yes, I do. Con save. That's a con save. Oh. Just save. 10. Fails. How much do I take? Uh, 1d4 necrotic damage. Dish it out. 3. Ooh. Okay, and then he's going to branding attack Wesley for a 18, which hits 12 points of fire. So you two and Wesley can't see him at all now. Yes. Okay, that's the end of his go, I think. Yeah, hang on, bonus action. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, brilliant. What's your passive perception? Oh God, 12. Rob you. Great. No! no! Pass me your character sheet. What, she doesn't it might not be on. Wherever you've got your items, oh, okay, okay. show me. so cross. All right. No, because every time we went to a city last campaign, we were so careful with our items. Like we, Janaya was, would always be robbed. Yeah. There was always like some child that was trying to rob us. Always having a row. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Don't look now, you're in combat. Oh. Look later. Okay. <laughs> well, you don't even know that this has happened, so there we go. Uh, okay, good. Uh, that's the end of his go. Scarlet, you're up. Can I. Perfect touch, please, you're on the wall. Skyrim. If I were to hold this man, oh. <laughs> would I. Did I see him steal from her? Um. What's your, no, your passive perception is too low. Oh, you wouldn't right, have noticed right. it. So, so he moves. He's darting he's around like he's okay. in tsh, tsh, like this, and like you just see him like he's he's very dexterous. Okay. Incredibly. 
So is he still stood there? Yeah, you've just seen him literally sink this branding iron into Rowan. Rowan, ah, scream with the fire oh, burn. Yeah, it's on me. And then <laughs> she's like looking around and looks like it, it's weird. I don't know whether you'd have figured out what's happened, but they all look like they can't see him. The same to Wesley. You've just seen him do the same to Wesley. Um. But like we're stood in a straight line. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Target him I'm for attack? Figure out how, how far away he is. He's, he's about he's about ten feet from you. Like from here to the to the to the back wall there. Not far at all. Um, but I'm behind a am I? Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, but you can if you're not sure whether you can target, you can ask me and I'll I will work it out. Okay. Um, and uh, okay. Uh, I will just. Uh, can I hold him? Can I try and hold him? Do you mean whole person or physically hold him? <laughs> whole person. I'll cast whole person. Yeah, well, hang on. I'm gonna look up what that actually does. It holds him. I want it, it makes it paralyzes someone. Yeah, but I want to have a word. With it. Now, whole person is a humanoid. He's not strictly speaking a human. Oh, okay, I'll just. He's a he's a he's a fae. fae. Medium fae. Then. Magic missile oh, yeah. from the robe again. Yeah. How many times can you do that from the robe per day? Like, 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 a lot. A lot. Okay. So, but I'm not gonna use like all seven on him. Do it. Six. No. You're pissing me off now. <laughs> okay. Roll your d4s and add one and call them out each time you have. Let's do it. Let's four, just add up the damage. Four. Two. Four. Five, three, five, two. Oh, stop, sorry, 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 got too far. Eight, nine, ten, nineteen. I thought it was going on for a while. That'll be magic missiles. Okay. <laughs> she keeps going. Keeps producing. Okay, you shoot these magic missiles into him. He's going to use his re reaction to do uncanny dodge, which will ha hey, half that damage. So dodge. he even manages to dodge a few of them Bro is faster than and that. half a magic missile. half the damage on can he dodge man can he, you judge a magic missile? he is that guy oh, really? agden yeah. halves the damage that he takes from an attack that hits him those automatically hit him and do 20 he's got 26 hit points you did 27 hit points damage so you would have killed him oh, but God. he's oh, half he's God. half in it so God. i actually only take 13. <laughs> i take 13 of that and he manages to <laughs> As a few of them tart past him, but choo -choo, he's hurt and he looks at you and he's like, Oh, the red witch is a dark one. Oh. And uh, yeah, he's scared. Uh, he's it's Wesley's go. Wesley can't oh, see him. my go? But he's going to. my go and so <laughs> Wesley, you, <laughs> you just missed. <laughs> I missed my. I don't know, it just wasn't my go again. After Wesley's, that. both his attacks miss. Uh, flat of the blade. Uh, Wendell, you're up. Okay. Um, I can't see you, so it's not my fault. And if any of these attacks hit you while I'm flailing around, I'm going to make three attacks. Okay. <laughs> uh, with flat of the blade. Flat of the blade? I get, you can't, because the other one does radiant, I'll remember? I'll do the sun one first, then. I'll do two attacks with the sun blade, and then... But if that hits him, he dies. Huh? I'll do one... Because you can't, you can't flat the blade a sun blade. You can make two attacks with the frost brand. Okay, I'll do that. Well, we'll see. Flat of the blade. Flat of the blade, yeah. Remember, uh, no, disadvantage. No, I didn't just roll another three. Okay. <laughs> okay. There you go. First one misses. Yeah. Second one. <laughs> is... <laughs> so upset when it goes wrong. Okay. 16. Does 16. Hit. Unfortunately, no, it's nowhere near his armor class. Sunblade attack. I'm getting mad. Oh, no! Okay. At miss. disadvantage. <laughs> okay, you miss. You're like literally getting furious, and he's just cackling. <laughs> can't hit what you can't see. Can I try to do intimidation with those swings? Uh, the swing. I'd say he's hurt enough that if you want to use your interaction, we don't want him to run away, make an intimidation check. I'd say with disadvantage can't run away because that. you aren't hitting him. Cool, I rolled 219, so that's 25. That'll do it. Okay, that's enough that like, even though your attacks aren't hitting him, as your sunblade sizzles through the air and the frost brand cracked, he does flee at that. Okay, uh, uh, opportunity attack. Still with disadvantage, but go ahead. <laughs> still sunblade. can't see sunblade. him. Sunblade. All right. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Almost. 20 to hit. Oh. That hits with disadvantage. Okay. Yep. Great. Okay. Go ahead. Radiant damage. Oh. Plus. Uh, seven. <laughs> Look how sad you are, by the Seven well, points of damage. Well, I mean, uh, Rowan's thing is not to kill Faker. Okay, as as um, as he flees further down the path, or retreats, shall we say, you do s- sizzle him across his bum and huh. light up a line of, of, of radiant burn across his... His speed is zero. His... How come? You move five feet. Oh, I've got sentinel feet. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that gets his leg and his big <laughs> old... Harangan leg kind of on the deck. He's like, oh, uh, and he's stuck where he is. Yeah, and Scarlet, uh, well, I mean, it's knock him out. <laughs> did you do seven points of damage, did you say? Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. Um, <laughs> at this, the other Harringans, let me just, I just need to look because they're not that loyal a bunch. <laughs> uh, I think it's highly likely, yeah. I can't see it. <laughs> I'm not very intimidating, but I actually can't see what's going on. You're like, don't come back in this like that. Don't come back in <laughs> Do not come back to New Jersey. Why did you step to New Jersey? Do you know Jersey shout? What's your fate world? Because I'm bad at speaking. It's not my fault. Okay. Um, that's the end of your go. Um... Rowan, what you doing? I'm gonna cast fairy fire on him. So fairy fire. Yeah. Last <laughs> round. Okay. I'm joking. I could see him. Last can time. you cast that on a target you can't see? It, it fills a cube, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a tw- twenty-foot cube. Great. Okay. He is lined with purplish flames. Harmless, but you're able to see not only his silhouette but also the silhouette of his long. 15 foot scarf. Any that... attack rolls against an infected <clears throat> creature or object has advantage on the attack. So that just nulls out your disadvantage. Well, no, he, we can also see him, can't we? No. Any... And the affected creature or object. No, he's still invisible. So can't what be you've done is. benefited from being invisible. Mm, okay. Cool. So I think we get an advantage. Alright, you cast your spell. What else are you doing? That was my action, so. Sort of flat, right? Oh. Uh, action surge. Yeah, so I overall action surge and okay. hit him with my short sword. Flat? Yes. Okay, go for it. With advantage then. Wait, oh, that dice hates me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you throw my green dice away? No, it's not that yours. It is. Oh, um, I just wasted an action surge. We've got 13. Okay, so the first attack doesn't hit. You've got two attacks, so you're oh, yeah. a fighter. Okay. Thank you. Uh, 24. Oh, that hits, yeah. Okay. Um, Give me some damage then. Short sword. Short sword. D6 plus strength mod. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, yeah. yeah, yeah and proficiency nice. bonus. So that's... You don't add proficiency to damage. Oh, no. Sorry, you don't. Thank you. That's 11. 11? Yeah. Dunk! <laughs> Bump. He's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All around you hear the <laughs> All around you as the Harrigan brigands have seen their leader him of the heroic song has fallen. <laughs> 26 hit points. <laughs> he, no, he had more than that to begin with. Um that's the end of your go and it's their go now. They are going to do one last Barrage and then run, and they're gonna target all on you because you just knocked him out. <laughs> okay. So here come the sling attacks. <laughs> just stone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Eleven to oh no, the uh, no. pack tactics they no. get things. So fifteen to hit. No. Uh, Nineteen to hit. Yeah. 21 to hit. No, I missed. Uh, 24 to hit. Uh, One more. Yeah, lots. 20 something to hit. I'll do uh, Vigilant Guardian. What does that do? I'll take all the hits instead of that. I'll I'll jump in front. I'll just. How does that work? Is it a reaction? Yeah. 
to, uh, to, uh, no, I've already used my reaction this turn. Sorry, my bad. You can take it back. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> okay, you take a total of as these stones just come hurling on. Seven. Uh oh. Eleven, <laughs> it's just like. Four, 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 Sixteen. Twenty. Oh. Twenty points of bludgeoning oh. damage. Oh, they just. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> like. <laughs> it just hits on you. And then they. Splash, splash. Off into the. Into the fog. Into the sunlight. Literally. Okay, so. We're gonna have to stop soon just because it's yeah, going so freaking like, it's dark. Just got dark. You know your eyes yeah. don't quite realise <laughs> it. Just, anyway. <laughs> Although we have got a, a realistic oh, yeah, uh, sky, sky <laughs> for the Fae. Um Alright, so as you as you kind of get your wits about you, having had your asses kicked. Yeah, I'm, I'm very hurt. Good work, everyone. That was, that was real teamwork. Yeah. Uh, thanks, yeah. thanks, Ron. So, oh. unconscious and now still not visible to those that can't see him. Because he's still in fairy fire. Yeah, he's still lined in fairy fire, but <laughs> visible to those that were not branded Does it by work him. Even if he's unconscious. Yeah, it's the item, it's not him. Oh, oh nice. Um, and this will last for 24 hours Ooh. until you can see him again. <laughs> yeah. But um, the unconscious form of... of uh, Agdun, excuse me, lies before you on this particular wooden bridge. What do you want to do? Who can still see uh, this guy? I can see this guy. Uh, can I... Uh, this is what he looks like. Oh, I don't know. Like <laughs> he looks like the Easter Bunny from the worst <laughs> Yeah, I like to look, think that he looks like, uh, um, what's it called? Don Donnie Darko, the rabbit in Donnie Darko. Whoa, he did not look like that in my head. In <laughs> the my head, scarier, he was just like a short white rabbit with like a... Yeah, I it's not. Um, he looked like Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland, right? No, no, it's not that. Like pretty tall, pretty, you know, they're pretty. It's pretty big. Yeah, we can kill them. Yeah, okay. yeah. Can I like? Are we, guys, are we planning on keeping this little rabbit alive, or...? Yeah, we're not going to kill it. Yeah, for information, of course. Okay. We don't always kill everything we see. Yes. Scars. All right, yeah. Well, it's a right. change We do need to work on that. We need to work Maybe, on this. Maybe, yeah, no, can just... Can't just murder everything. I didn't mean to murder them. Oh, really? It's they hard to not murder, <laughs> like, you know... Usually they died them. easier than you hoped they were? Like she just had oh, faith in them. She overrested them a little bit. I overestimated. Yes, because usually when I use wow. those things, it doesn't kill things. But, you know, injure them. Mm. Anyway, let's... Can we usually when I launch my magical attack at them, they survive it, <laughs> even when they blast from my... That's the only attack she's got! Power. Magical attack! I'm, I'm going to take this guy's scarf off and just tie his hands Okay, well, as you go to try and take his scarf off, doesn't matter how much you try and pull, unravel <laughs> it, it yank it off. <laughs> it seems to almost be like magically how long fused. How he been wearing that scarf? <laughs> <laughs> Can I search his like? Yeah. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's got this. He's got a dagger, a branding iron <laughs> on him. You find a diamond on him. Um, Write that down. Yep. Yeah. What'd you find? This guy had a beautiful diamond. Take that brand. That looks awfully a lot like the one that I was carrying. No, well, you don't even know you've been pickpocketed. So I literally, my diamond. yeah, yeah, but you don't even know that you were pickpocketed. Okay. So until such He's time, <laughs> literally until such time as you go, oh, I want to sell my two diamonds. You guys have got to role play that effectively. Okay. 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 You found a diamond. You have no idea it's hers. <laughs> you have no idea you've lost one. Take that branding on. That might be. Like a, like that looks pretty nice. How was it? He look? doesn't care. <laughs> no, pretty I'm nice saying. little diamond. Yeah. <laughs> How much do I think that's helpful? I don't know. Like it looks like about a two hundred gold piece, maybe five hundred gold piece diamond. Not sure. About a thousand gold pieces I pay for that thing. Okay. You're a foolish um, anyway, man. <laughs> uh, I'll pick I mean, up I wouldn't, but if I had to. Branding. Can I pick up the branding? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Can you guys see this? When you yeah. take it off, him, I can. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, that's new. Okay, well, uh, what should I do with this one to you guys? Please don't do that! Unbranded? Oh, unbranded! Is it already boiling pot still? Is it constantly, like. Do you want to touch it? No. Can we see if it's red hot? I'll push it on the floor and see that these are. Yeah, it burns the floor. 
it's still on. Is it magic? <laughs> it's still on! <laughs> yeah, it's obviously it's magic. It seems to have magical properties, the fact that you can't see him. Can turn it off? Uh, does anyone have to spell magic? Uh, you that, the the you yeah, should have that. Yeah. Uh, you're the wizard. You need to. No. I'm not a no, wizard. You're the. <laughs> I don't know the word for your type. Magic Sorcerer. user, spell slinger, sorcerer, mage, magician. Spell slinger, magician. <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I'm just. We just throw it Is away. there somewhere I can put this without it burning? Bag of holding. No, we're burning it's everything burn in there. Bag of holding. Why is it all constantly on? Uh, if we pour water It's on. an annoying item, isn't it? If we pour water on it, let's check I haven't put water on it. It just sizzles a lot. It uh, just keeps sizzling. Hang on. I'm going to my mushroom. That's awesome. Is it I will say, actually, after he lost consciousness, it went out. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, what? Right. So none of that happened. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I imagine something... I almost came just up just with the impulse. I almost <laughs> solved the, the energy crisis, and you tell me it went out. <laughs> <laughs> what were you going to do? Put your frost brand No, put it under your water tank. What? To boil the water forever. <laughs> it's not that hot. It's not like radiating. Did he just it's leave it there long enough? It will eventually boil. What should we do? Should we, what's it made of? Metal all the way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's gonna hurt if you're holding one end. It's gonna get hot eventually. Oh no! It's got yeah, like a leather hand. handle at the uh, end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, put that in the bag. No, no, no. Oh no! We don't know that. Yeah. What if he wakes up? It goes. It's not like he's attached to it permanently. If we move it too far away from him, he's gonna lose his control over it. So I should throw it. Is what you said. Put it in the bag. Put it in the mug. Bury it in the mug. I'll put it. No. It will turn back on. He just took that out of my hand. Yeah. Whoa. Give it back. And you can do it. Okay, now it's back to me. <laughs> uh, if I put it in the marsh... No, put it in the barrel holding, we need it. For, for what? Selling. Who wants to brown bunnies onto people? That's what it is. Do you not see the use in this thing? No. What, what, what use do you it's see? It's obviously magical if you can find a way to connect with it and get him off connecting <laughs> with it. So I can start branding people, is that what you want me to do? No. You want me to start branding people the way you were branded? That's so Maybe. odd. Oh, you do, aren't you? If we what? want to play the coolest hide and seek game ever. <laughs> no, because what? your yeah. skin would be burned. Uh, Alright, listen. Put it in the bag, we'll decide later. Should we do you want everything in that bag to be burned when he wakes back up? No, he's not gonna. Has turn anyone it tried off? this? It's not, like he, up. it's not like he's gonna wirelessly oh, turn no. it off <laughs> when he wakes up. Uh, Wesley, turn him off! Wesley, turn him off! I'll hold him down. Wesley. Okay, you hold him down and tie him up. Do I see him? No, you can't see him. Oh my god. You, you, you can see three, him including yeah, Wesley, he is oh lined in purplish flames. Aim this thing at him really <laughs> yeah, sure. Does it look like Does a cup of As he starts, no, he's not holding it. Exactly! Okay. Put it in the pack. Got it. He start, for, starts to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. As I'm hurting. Oh, I'm sorry, please. Um, well, don't hurt me. <laughs> Oh, yes, you can. Sorry. With our light fading <laughs> and with Agden long scarf, <laughs> the head of the of the brigands I can see you. <laughs> um, um, subdued and under your control, that's where we're going to leave it this time. Yummy! Well done.